Yeah, you could be alive right now too. <laughs> How's it look? We are live. I can't see everything yet. There's this this is an awkward moment of waiting for me to. We know. are live. <laughs> we are live. Am I moving around the brain? Whoa. I don't know if people can see. <laughs> That's the thing I need to worry about. We're taking a minute at the start because I, I did some new video test, some new audio tests. And I need to make sure that it all looks, but everybody's like showing a bajillion pictures of. It was like, it almost looks like the purge. <laughs> it can't be the purge. For anybody who heard a voice there, that was uh, our director of marketing and communications, James Spafford, aka, I guess my boss, <laughs> sort of my boss. Uh, and yes, this is Heather Alexandra, your content and community manager here for Double Fine. I have done some new audio mixing. Somebody in the chat already notices it. We should have Discord much louder this time. One of the hard things about, it's kind of quiet right now. Shoot me in the face. I'm already, this is already me putting on a show. Shoot me in the face. Turn up your headphones, silly poo. I've spent so much time trying to get the audio right. And the answer is everybody has different audio. I'm doing things with a bajillion people. Put on headphones. I will give you, I will send you $100 to do it. I had a friend yesterday. Yesterday, Elden Ring, they showed a trailer. And I was in a Discord chat with a friend and I said, I don't think this is Elden Ring. And if it is Elden Ring, I'll give you $100. And it was Elden Ring. I gave them $100. No, wait, don't listen to him. Retreat. Shut up, you fool. That's what happened. But we're moving on to um, Waterloo World and uh, a couple other things. Look, people are saying that there's... Look, it's going to freeze. It's going to freeze. It's going to freeze. Look at this. I'm doing this to please the masses. I'm doing this to please the masses. You know what the difference is? If I turn this up, uh, sometimes I am not balanced with everybody else. Look at that. Look at that. Fixed it to everybody's liking. If it sounds like I'm frustrated, it's like it's part performance. <laughs> but also, audio stuff is hard to figure out on this on the slide. Um, it's super hard to figure out. I don't have a lot of test streams that I'm able to do. We sh we showed this segment earlier. I'm trying to skip it, even though <laughs> even though it's good, it's Fred and everybody. And I think the first thing we need to do is Gloria's before Waterloo. I don't know if that really matters. There are guests uh, lurking in the background who may or may not join us at their discretion. Um, I don't know if they'll peep in just whenever they want. Uh, we ha oh, we have so many guests. We have so many guest friends. It's going to be astounding. I should really put that thing away. Hey. Or are you trying to? Gloria. I feel, I, I feel for Gloria as somebody who has a theater major. I, <laughs> I go, yes. Perfect. And yes, if people are here, you can unmute and say hello to the world. Hello, world. Hello, world. Hello, You're much louder this time. I did my best. Hello. That sounds like, that sounds like that Ray. Sound okay? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I was just going to mention that this is when I came onto the project, this is one of the very first things that I saw in the game engine was Gloria and this and her little like kind of wicker in the um, little hut. Yeah, the little hut. Yeah. Yes. And people should be happy. New sound mixing. Um, Ray, it is a new day. It is it is a Friday. It has been a couple of sessions since you've been on. Could you please introduce yourself for the people at home who maybe haven't been around for the other streams? Sure, uh, Ray Crook. Um, I've been at the studio for twenty years, and uh, came on to Psychonauts kind of on the very in the very. It had been going for a few months, and so um, yeah, it was a. Uh, I started out as a as a character modeler and a character rigger, and then moved into animation um, on that project. Yes, the last and time so, you yeah. were on, we were talking about like Sasha's and stuff. You were you're on near the start of the game. I, yeah, it feels like yeah. now we're yeah. getting close to. Oh, like yeah, the Gloria, end. yeah, Gloria was one of the few characters that were already modeled when I when I came onto the project. Uh, oh, really? Eric Inger, yeah, Eric Ingerson, I think, had modeled her. Um, I don't, I don't think she even had materials though, but I could be wrong. 
but yeah, yeah, she was fun to just to see to come into a company on a project and see a character as interesting as Gloria. That was pretty exciting. Well, it probably gives you a good sense of, <laughs> to a certain extent, like the aesthetics and vibe that you're going for, right? Just a character that's so much like she is. I love Gloria, but she is a lot, <laughs> right? Yeah, um, yeah, which is always very good. Um, yeah, just when I when I when I came into interview and seeing just even her concept art up on the wall, and um, and then they showed me a little bit of her in the in the game, um, was just made me really want to work at the studio. Yeah, I feel like a lot of our fans enjoy Gloria's stuff because I think they can all either either we have a ton of theater people in our audience or we have a lot of people who understand the anxiety of being judged or things yeah. like that right it's a cool little metaphor for that do you ever how do you how do you handle criticisms in, in the real world ray let's get some life lessons from raymond crook uh, well that's i mean as animators that's all you do is you're just basically criticized <laughs> we, we, we do weeklies where you just put your work up and everyone just tears it apart and uh tells you how to make it better and that's sort of your life <laughs> so you get used to it it's done lovingly hopefully sure for the, for the you, most yeah part. you, you yeah, you know that it's it's constructive. It's not, you know, to tear you apart, but it is to make the work better. And, yes. and I think as you go throughout your career, you realize, oh, yeah, it, most of the comments are things that you just can't see. You know, you, when you've looked at something over and over, uh, you need some some fresh eyes on something. And yeah, so... I think, you know, as the well-organized mind starts to see criticism. Hey, I guess she really doesn't um, want to see anything almost as like opportunity in disguise right even though sometimes the process of being criticized lord knows you know when i was online writing articles and some mean rando would yell at me it's like it doesn't yeah. it doesn't feel good but it can there's still ways that it can lead to good things yeah it does still hurt oh, wow. yeah look at the yeah so this yeah so yeah. this level this was uh, oh yeah there's uh, bonita soleil uh, I remember just late nights of Tim actually trying to program. Well, I shouldn't say trying, but he was he was actually, uh, you know, up sitting up at his workstation programming the like the level switches. You know, eventually you'll get there where the where you switch from the, the yes. night to day. And he was trying to implement all of that because uh, we had a we had a uh, milestone that was due to Microsoft. I think it was miserable. Uh, milestones to Microsoft. Yeah, What's isn't that, that weird? Yeah, now that's. <laughs> I'm sitting. Yeah, I'm sitting here going like, oh, okay, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, right. That sounds so normal now. Yeah, yeah. It's funny to think about at the time it being a little different. Oh, whoa! I didn't mean to hit her with my my cobweb duster. That felt kind of mean. <laughs> it took so long. I don't know why. Uh, maybe things were just harder back then. But. But to get that cobweb duster in Raz's hand properly, oh, yeah. uh, oriented properly, and then shooting off properly. I accidentally selected right. the bacon for a second too. I like this game a lot, but I, I mess yeah, up. I mess up. Yeah. There's Key. Key and Jeff are here, I think. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, hello. So first off, we have we have Jeff. Reintroduce yourself, Jeff. Uh, hello, I'm Jeff Solis. I'm the lead environment artist on Psychonauts 2, and I was a world builder on Psychonauts 1. Yes. And this was one of the levels I worked on. Fantastic. Oh, that makes it even better. Cause, uh, so I made you go first because you and Ray have already been on, but that leaves somebody else who hasn't been on yet, which is Key. Hello, Key. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm, I'm okay. I, I, I can't. I'm still just seeing bugs. I saw one frame at the little level and the <laughs> arm pop when uh, when did the bacon. Well, this will put it in perspective. Key, could you introduce yourself to the people at home and tell them uh, uh, what your position yes. was on this game? Uh, hi, my name is Key Chi. I was a gameplay programmer on this project. So <laughs> you've had uh, the delightful experience of being in Slack or other places and watching the game and going, oh, God, oh, no. <laughs> Oh, these things. We these things that are still here. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. It's it's so. The reason why it like it really stands out, other than like you know you try to make it a, a part of it is you want to make as nice a product and polish and and all of that. Um, but I think going through this game, uh, we lived in an era of no patches. It was going to be print on this. So it was right. going to be there. It was going to be there. And every single one of our milestones was so stringent. 
um, that you know every bug needed to be fixed and everyone was like playing um, to make sure that there weren't any. So like, there's some bugs that whenever it comes up, you really notice it, and there's some other bugs like the ones that's been discussed in the stream before, like the um, sitting in the um, uh, the the fast travel system in, in in camp and that driving away where you fix it, you're like, oh, it's back. And you fix it, oh, it's back. So, uh, yeah, I think there are just certain things that, that just always pops out. It's something like, oh, man, we got to stay up longer to fix that one because it's so ingrained to your, into your psyche. But also, you know, better, better game and all that. Yes. It's... I've just seen you in our chats, like in our Twitch chats, and I'm like, oh, buddy. Oh, don't worry. It's fine, because everybody in the chat who sees this game or has been playing this game now that it's on, you know, Game Pass or just playing it again in the lead-up to Psychonauts 3, the messages they're not sending me are like, uh, ran into this thing and this trigger volume thing didn't work or whatever. They're like, this game is great. Thank you all. So I think all of you here who are here today should know that you did a very good job in the game is still quite good. That and that is wild to me. And and I gotta like make sure to to thank folks that still that enjoy the game and still enjoy the game. Um, I think when we were finishing up, it was just we, you hope that people like it. But the thing that was the most important at the time was that we finished it. Um, and like having just so many people love it after uh, so many years is. It's something I could not even imagine. So, so thank you for for everyone that played and enjoyed it. And then Jeff, you said that you had a hand, a pretty large hand in this level, by the sound of it. Yeah, it was. Uh, pardon me, I was eating uh, lunch. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I didn't want to speak with food in my mouth. Um, yeah, I, I I did quite a bit on this level. Um, I'm trying to find the candle. I don't remember where the candle is. Uh, this, the 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 thing that. Uh, you're about to put the candle in was one of the first things I animated on this project. The, the stinky meat and the nightmare and, and the, that that little spinner thing. Yes. <laughs> well, I don't I don't have the candle. I always forget where it is, is my big thing. It, you can tell that I haven't played this game in, or this <laughs> this far into the game, I should say, in a while. Um, which is I also scary. lit this level way back in the day, which was... Ugh. I'm not a lighting artist. Uh, that's you know. Oh, you're not. You're not. You haven't. You haven't studied all the things. Yeah. <laughs> you were a lighting artist, Jeff. You yeah. Artist. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I mean, I remember getting a book on uh, lighting theater just when I was working trying to light this level because I was like, I don't I have no clue how to make this look right. What is? Oh, I love, I, sorry, I love those little stained glass. Uh, yeah. Oh, these those, up here. Those, yeah, I never yeah. noticed those little lamps. Yeah. I wonder if I, I can like get a good those. look of them if I tilt up. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, textures. Oh, look at that textures. <laughs> Super high res <laughs> textures. I, I think I still guys. need to talk to Bonita a little bit more. <laughs> I, I guess I forgot a dialogue option was the deal. Yeah, um, you should have put little purple lights up there on those. See? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Listen, what what is what is a Psychonauts one lighting person but a world builder, uh, persisting? <laughs> right? I mean, every but everybody has everybody had their hats had hats. Is 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 uh, us working yes. on this this game? <laughs> I, if there's one thing I've come to even realize, even though there's way more, you know compartmentalization and i said that word funny what the heck word was that um and more not siloing off but people definitely who are focused on their thing there's still times even in the last year of being at double fine where i'm like oh like sometimes people just like swing and like they'll hit something else okay there it is i was like the door wasn't open my brain was going bad i love those little pictures on the uh it's fun to watch when, for somebody when you're watching and you catch more details than when you're playing. Oh, and you mean like fun. these over here? I'll run the little pic them. Yeah, the little yeah. framed. I wonder if Scott did those or those bagel. The little framed pictures that were on her on her little um, what do you call that? Her little desk over there. Oh, over here, yeah. Oh, oh those, the, the, yeah, on, yeah, on the, yeah. On the on the on the right side, they're like little portraits on the yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, those. Oh, it's the it's the little details. I'm a big fan of this uh, 
this bottle. <laughs> this very nice. I don't know. It has, it has... The, the label. The label's turned. Yeah, yeah. It's on the other side. I'm trying to look at it. <laughs> It's got that was some, definitely on purpose. <laughs> it's got some good uh, old school charm to it, I think. I'm pretty sure it's just a black square. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just an Easter, maybe an Easter egg in there. No. <laughs> there was. We're running out of texture memory on this level, uh, so. As a theater kid, this this really hits home. This is this is exactly what it's like. What what uh, what what type of theater kid were you? I I, I, I did. <laughs> I had a thing. I have a theater major. I was oh. act, I was acting in theater arts, so, so I did a little bit of everything. I know costumed. I I had to do projects that were costume design and stuff, um, but it never comes up because I became a writer instead. <laughs> I, uh, I I did tech and uh, oh yeah. Costume stuff, so. I I my favorite part of tech is like it helped me overcome like a fear, not quite a fear, but like heights. Heights don't mean much to me anymore because after a while they're like hey, can you go up into the raptors? And you're like, yeah. And they're like, okay, can you go up into the thing that's above the raptors? It's like, oh, too, too much. It's very scary. Um, the stage crew count. I don't know if stage crew counts. So yeah, that's that I totally counts. Right? I, was, I was behind the, I was always behind. I didn't like to be out in front. That's why animators are always hiding behind things, characters. Yes. I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm getting lost. Oh, it's Friday. That's where my brain is right now. It's been a busy week. We showed off Day of the Devs and all that stuff. So a lot I wish I could help you, Heather, on this. I just don't remember. So, keep keep much, going. So. Keep going up as much as you can. Yes. I want to get into the rafters. <laughs> I, I know most of it, like mentally in my mind of like, get the candle, light the things, do these other parts. But I also, there's a part of me that's like, I don't remember certain things because i'm a loser how do i there we go <laughs> platforming always good always good a good thing to do when you're as clumsy as me now i always remember the um uh the stage manager in this level kind of looking like kelly uh, our old office manager slash HR. Person. Oh, really? <laughs> Is that what you think? Yeah. Some uh, Be some inspiration. Becky, the stage manager. There's your yeah, candle. Yeah. We go down over here. Um. So Jeff, was this oh, I... was this always meant to be a theater? Were there any early concepts to it or anything like that? Um. No. I mean, the the concepts from Peter were definitely a theater. Um. And. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> The, uh, if you, like, no one ever sees it, but I spent a ridiculous amount of time on all of this, like, like, uh, deco molding that's up on the ceiling, um, just because it was, like, hinted at in Peter's concepts. I'm trying to look up. Yeah. <laughs> trying to look up for you. At all. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's above the stage. It's this, like, scroll work that's on the top of the stage, and you just can't yes. see it. Where's, where's my pyro pyrokinesis? I, I keep on going invisible. Ah, oh, that's relatable. That's how I feel sometimes. I'm a Leo, and then I go invisible. It's very, very good. Uh, oh, these oh, render cutscenes. It's a. Man. It's going from one extreme to the other. is is very interesting. Those uh. Those, that stage broke my brain. <laughs> trying, trying to build that. I can't even remember who I was working with on it, but I think I think it was this. That part of it might have been Tian. Yeah, yeah. Is it for the falling and all of that? Uh, well, it, it it's like I think six sets that are all on top of each other. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, and you and they have to have like uh continuity between the different sets. Um <laughs> so it's like you run off the side of one and another one drops down and you're like in the same spot. It it really hurt my brain to work on that at the time. Listen, all that matters is that it works and uh don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the game designer motto, right? Mm -hmm. I like how Scott went so far on these designs. Like, just they, just, like Jasper doesn't have a neck. His head is just kind of 
It's just like, floating out there. Yeah, they're yeah. just like they don't look human at all. Like I love, I love how far he took these characters. Yeah, he just um, sort of has a has a big back, bunch of hair. Yeah, it's like what is he? Like later, it seemed like they he went more a lot more kind of human, like straight up human. I mean, weird human, but human. But these were just way out there. This was one of the early levels too, if I remember. Correctly. Yeah, super early. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all those. Yeah, like like Becky is kind of pieces, yeah. different than the rest of the characters in the game, just because she's one of the. Yeah. Because I think you guys worked on this level before I got hired. Uh, yeah, yeah. This was like one of the very, very first uh, uh, here she is ones. Here. Back when uh, Raz wasn't Raz, but he was Dart. Dart, D'Artagnan. Uh, with, yeah, with a stocking, really Little long stocking. Cap. Sleeping cap. I love that art uh, though. I really do love. Anytime I see pictures of, of Dart, I go like, "Oh, that's cute." Yeah. He shows up yeah. in the game. <laughs> yeah, in this game. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I remember. Didn't it take forever to get those strings in? Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> All the of strings these. are really hard. They were really hard back then. Strings. Now we just have <laughs> weird physics engines, or I don't know how strings work in games anymore. I saw a rope in The Last of Us 2, and it was the most beautiful rope I've ever seen. So. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows how it all works anymore? I did not mean to trigger this because I think I need to go up to the critic because I need a copy of the script, if I remember correctly. So I do remember some stuff from this from this level. I do. I'm just also an idiot who was like, "Where's the candle? <laughs> Why isn't this door opening? Can't help it." Oh, it's so tiny. I yeah, know. It's like I don't know what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. Oh, that's right. Because most yeah. of those are you. That's right. We had that discussion yeah. where where all that uh, bouncy animation was you, and then you were also like, I don't know, maybe maybe could trim a couple seconds off of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too long. Oh, I think they're fine. I think they're totally great. In retrospect, we always find something to criticize about things that we made. I think they're adorable, Ray. Yeah. All right. Thank you. They're not. <laughs> I have to bring I love his I love all the popcorn. <laughs> yeah. His weird popcorn spittle is, is yeah. fantastic. He is one of my favorite designs. He's fun to animate too. Yeah. Everything is over the top with that guy. Yeah, he really moves around, doesn't he? Yeah, and his neck he doesn't have a neck, so his head can go anywhere. <laughs> it's just weird. Was this you on animation or was it someone else? Uh, I did some of this. Um, Eric Ingerson um, did sure. uh, quite a bit of Jasper, actually. As an animator, then, I guess this is a question that I've always had, right? Because especially now that I look at earlier games, like, how much experience had you had up to that point with 3D stuff? Was, was, like, was there... Well, I would come. I'd come yeah. straight out of school. I mean, I'd yeah. come straight out of school. So, um, you know, as much experience, and that was t 20 years ago. So, you didn't come out with a whole lot of experience, right. you know. So we did some 2D and some 3D, and um, you know, and I had, I had worked on a project with Dave Russell. Actually, who'll come on later with Rusty um, in yes. school, and so, you know, we had quite a bit of animation and modeling um, and rigging experience. So. Um, but still, you come into a real working environment and it, you feel like you don't know anything. So <laughs> I think that's anything new. But I guess I was thinking that because I see, like, these animations, right, they have, like, a lot of really good exaggeration to them. Like, there's, like, really strong sort of, like, yeah. posing to it, um, which sometimes I find um, when I'm playing, especially um, really early 3D, but a lot of other 3D games, even from this time, like, they're not exaggerating a lot. They're not. They're not like squashing or like stretching any proportions. They kind of take. They don't take a lot of risk. But here, like that, I don't know. That animation had a lot going for it, which I thought was very, yeah. very cool. Yeah, that's Eric Ingerson. Uh, you know, he likes the flair, the dramatic, um, <laughs> and he was he was good at that. So, yeah, nice. give him credit for that. Where's Becky? There she is. One of the more normal looking characters in the game, in spite of everything. Yeah. Key. What oh. sort of programming magic did you weave in this level? Do you remember anything? No, I don't think I necessarily worked on this one. Um, also, yeah, I, I think I did more on like uh, Wall of the World. Um, oh, we'll get there. One for of sure. the, 
Yeah, one of the things I do remember um, that folks were t touching on a little earlier on is how more finished this level was. Because I remember uh, when I started um, uh, one of the level designers, some of the level designers at the time, um, Chris McGee and Joe Ching, were showing me like how the I think it was like the Phantom um, stuff was was worth working. So I remember learning how some of the scripting was working um, by looking at the stuff in this in this level. Um, but yeah, it seemed pretty finished. And the other thing is looking at this and like some of the glorious stuff right earlier on, I thought the game was pretty close to being done. Um, and, and what was that? That was like what, two years before before it actually ended up coming out. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I had already preempted it, a, a, the puzzle a bit, because I know you have to move around to unlock certain parts. Wait, so Key, you came on, wait. You, there was more than two years. Like, you were on this for more than two years, right? Were you yeah. For, like, <laughs> <three or> four? <laughs> were, you, were you on it for about four? I I started in 2002 on the same week as Anna. Um, <laughs> and when did we ship? Was it? Heather, do you know? Was that 2005? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I remember all the things we did back then guys it was so much fun All right, uh, look it up. <laughs> i can't look up stuff i have to play the game and no, I, have to no, I, don't, I, don't I don't know no, i think ray's right i think ray's right it's like 2005 is when, when it came out i have the curious uh, we're like three years no i mean we were on it for four i was on it for four and yeah you were you were there uh before before me for sure um by the way look how well like holding objects and uh, it animating Raz works because when he has an inventory item, oh, it, yeah, right um, yeah, it doesn't override for like his arms. Yeah, um, and like how it does with the jumps and everything is is I think I remember having to uh, like work, work animators and programmers have to work to make sure they all work with all actions. That looks really good, and I bet I think some actions actually makes the items go away, so you don't have to worry about like if he did a punch. I think yeah, if I the... hit punch or so, it'll yeah. Yeah, did you help us on that key? I remember it took us a long time to get all those. We had like a, we still do. We have a prop joint, which is it basically comes off yeah. of the wrist and uh, attaching to that. And then we had to like this really weird way where we'd have to, in my, we'd have to lock the prop down and attach it. And then it would give us the, then unlock it. And it would give us the coordinates, the orientation coordinates that we had to give to a programmer to then put it in. It was just like this yeah. convoluted way, but it worked. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, putting in numbers, putting in numbers. Yeah, uh, yeah. So when you say that these are all stacked on each other, if I were to look in a weird out of boundsy area, are they literally stacked they're all, on each they're other? They're all, they're all laid out in different places, but they exist in the same space when you play the game. Oh, I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, uh, like, I was like, oh, how's this all work? Oh, good. And, and they're like subtly different, so they're not the same geometry. That's the yeah. we're not like swapping out materials. It's it's a completely different set. Um, I oh like no. I like this level because it ends up being. It's really, especially coming off of Milkman, which I like a lot, but uh, is is very movement heavy in in some ways. This is like this almost feels like all puzzle and it's kind of a nice change of pace i don't know i like it look at that got, this, got the dragon puzzle, yeah. <laughs> that's those are <laughs> my oh god i remember i was so proud of that the stupid night animation yeah you did oh, those, right? that was you oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the night and the dragon uh and the the waves the like looping wave animation back there Nice animation, Jeff. Ow. Oh, yeah. There's so, there's so many scary things chasing me. I know I need to... What is it? I have to get up, I think, there. Or so. Because there's another set I need to drop down. But I forget how to get to it. Oh, oh I'm on uh, fire. I'm literally on fire. <laughs> there's that guy doing? Oh. That's scary. Yeah, I think you need, to, you need to climb the dragon. If I yes. Can I... Jeff? Move? Is it movable? What was that key? Jeff, with the sets changing, how did we handle have pathfinding? Um. Oh boy. Well, you got to remember that uh, 
the, the collision was not in the same file as the objects. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I'm pretty sure <laughs> that, like, the the bottom portion is the same in all of the the sets. Those things keep attacking me. Or at least the okay. collision is, 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 is the, the walkable portions are all the same. I think there's some facades that you can't run on that get changed out. Uh, and that's how we fake it, is that there's literally no collision that's changing, uh, except for some of the upper platforms, and they don't, they don't need pathfinding. Uh. But... I don't. Yeah. That people were telling me just what I needed to do, and I did it. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that would be a tricky thing to do. I remember that we had like the main file. Is it the LSOs file? Yeah. 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 LSOs uh, was collision and pickups and and stuff. I also remember how um, um, I I barely knew I knew at the time. I got um. Where I started, I, I changed desks to like temporary desks because they're trying to set up the office. And um, uh, in the office, the power wasn't very good. Oh, uh, yeah. So when, yeah. When the, the heaters came on, mm -hmm, when the heaters came on, like, you know, the, the, the computers would go down. And uh, I, I think you're probably working on one of these large Maya files, and the power went down. And my <laughs> that is angry screaming that I didn't know you. I'm like, man, this guy's. <laughs> Way, Not that's great. The way everybody uh, talks about either the old office or even just the office that we have now always sounds a little scary. <laughs> well, our, the old office, it was scary. Like, when it would rain, poop would rocket out of the toilets. Oh my uh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> um, this is, we can't. The, <laughs> the, we, uh, we can't just have poop stories. <laughs> Uh, the, there was a, a weird wall in the programmer room. Yeah, that we can't. We could put screens on, on it. Oh yeah, probably gonna give them superpowers at some point or extra I mean, arms. I don't know. Uh, we all probably have cancer. <laughs> oh no! Uh, in the winter, it would uh, if there were too many space heaters turned on, the the, the power would go yeah. off in the entire yeah. building. Yeah. Uh, it was yeah. great. The other thing is, you'd come into the this is having multiple. You come in. Cause I'd usually get there pretty early. It was like me and Dave Dixon, mm. and it was. And you're like, you'd smell. You start smelling something. Like, All right, it's time to find the dead rat. Like multiple <laughs> times, you just smelt death, and you're like, okay, now I got to spend my morning looking for the rat. Oh, that, I can't. That died. It's so. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where to go, but I'm also listening to these stories, and it's like, so, it's like, I'm so I'm visiting the city next week. And at least I'm like, oh man, I hope I don't find any like dead rats. <laughs> like, hopefully that won't. No, they're, they're, they're all in our old office, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're the, all the there. New very clean. We got new carpets. None of us have seen them yet. <laughs> because I don't, I don't mean to, uh, you know, cast a cloud on anything that you're talking about with these dead rats, but it paints such a lovely picture of San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, any everywhere has rats, right? Yes, it's, it's true. Your house might have rats. Who knows? I, I'm sure there are. There are. There's definitely mice. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Because I know we have to do happy mailboat. It was like super nice. I remember these parts of the level, which is good, but not where to find stuff, which is very bad. Yeah. You, you know, the other thing you used to do in the old building is you'd find, uh, you'd come in and you'd hear a lot of rustling in your garbage can, and you'd look in, and there was a mouse in there trying to get out. It just got stuck there in the night. You could just. Oh, I mean, them up. at least them. Yeah, well, Dave no. Dixon would put them in a cup and put them on someone's desk, so there's a mouse sitting on their desk. What? Oh, Dave. <laughs> no! Oh, Dave. No! No! Like, really? <laughs> oh, I cannot. They were cute. They were cute no, little Dave, mice. Cute Dave's mice. like the nicest person. I can't imagine. Wait. Yeah, it's a dark, dark side. <laughs> he did. He did have a pet tarantula. So yeah, yeah. 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 No, he's a great guy. This is what they just did. I'm not just triggering it anyway. I thought you were going to say, like, you would hear a rustling in your trash can and it would just be Dave Dixon. <laughs> yeah. No. It, would just no, be, we had... it would just be Tim. Yeah, but we had, like, we had one guy leave. We had one guy who left the company and we had to move his desk. And I remember going and we moved it and then there was just a nest uh, in a, just a whole rat's nest that had been underneath, like, all these blankets and McDonald's bags and stuff. It was cozy. I mean, yeah, I don't. I don't blame the mice. No? Yeah, I liked. I, I I had fun in that office. I don't. Whatever people say, it could be cozy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I 
I, I've worked at all sorts of offices. It's like, it's fine. I when we, when we talk about it, they're not. I'm not. They're not complaints. I think they're more just. Oh no! Reminiscing about the old times. <laughs> there's definitely a fondness that I'm detecting. Yeah. That's for sure. I sense it. I think I need to go even higher up this time. If I can. If I can. And I have to say, this is one of my least favorite levels to play. And that's just me. That's just my style of gameplay. They're like, I, 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 the back and forth always just bugged me. But some people love it. So there's a level for everyone on this game. That's true. <laughs> and Figment's hiding, like, way up here. Oh, God, those seats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I fell. Got One more Figment. Great Figment. They are good. I like the figments in P2. They have a little bit more, um, they're a little easy, easier to see. There's like a little bit more legibility, right? So I think people are gonna find them a little easier, I would hope. And then they won't send me messages like, why can't I get my platinum? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I'll be like, I don't know, have you, have you tried looking around? Which is very, yeah. very good. Oh. All right. So I know we need to go up. We need to go very far up. Which is scary, but I think we might be able to get there from up there. Whoa! You can bounce on these? Oh my gosh! You're playing to catch them all, aren't you? Well, well, no. Well, so so many people, people have complained. have asked, "Am I gonna collect everything?" And the answer is, um, I mean, no. if you want to pay for me to be streaming for like 20 hours, exactly, <laughs> or whatever, to find everything, then yeah, I could totally do that. Um, I just, I chiefly do not remember where to find things in this level, even if I remember the puzzle itself, right? Which is very, very good. Did any of you animate that weird trombone thing that I had yeah, to? Yeah, that, that's, that was me. Ooh, and that's not bad. <laughs> yeah, Jeff did a lot of those, a lot of those, like, prop, uh, prop animals and stuff when he would. Yes. Because you you also would model them, right, Jeff? And you throw a bone. Yeah, you I would, I would just rig them up. model model rig and animate them all at once. They're, I mean, they're yeah. they're usually just like one animation, and it just plays once, and then has an idol of it just sitting there doing nothing. Like a lot of the bushes and in, in the camp and other places, pretty much do the same thing. Oh, and we did terrible. We made some terrible choices in the beginning with it. Remember, we didn't have any references. We wouldn't reference. So every oh. every rig in an animation was its own rig yeah so, so if you if anything changed on a rig <laughs> you just change it in that one file yep like it was we just did we did a lot of things wrong <laughs> <laughs> who needs references that's that's, that, that's how we learn that's how we learn <laughs> yeah let's get that air balloon <laughs> <This is... laughs> oh man what are you giggling about? Oh, just just the uh, like the uh, Ray talking about the back and forth in this level, and and uh, there there is literally no way to get the whole thing done before uh, you come up here. So you can just jump in the balloon. You have to keep going back and forth. Yes, can I bounce? Ah, ah, <laughs> uh, every time I'm on the levitation ball, I get scared. I get so scared. That's right, because the balloon has to come down, huh? Yeah. Can I zippy zap? Where are my abilities? There we go. There we go. And I don't know. There we go. Can I zap? Oh no! Oh, if I change ability, it keeps me from doing everything. I just don't know how to get that down. I will figure it out. I hate that I'm in here. Like I don't. I don't understand. Does it have to be? Does that have to be daytime? I can't remember. How do you get it down? I don't remember. It might be. Yeah. We can try it. Take two seconds to get back up there. You might be correct. Now, Key, I have a question. Yeah. To jump back, sure. to jump back to the uh, the agony of of being known and bugs being known. Um, <laughs> is there what as we've been playing through this or at least as you've observed us playing this is there anything that you've gone like not just like i mean obviously there has been but what is what is the thing that you've gone like 
man should have should have got that because I feel I feel like there's there's some strong strong feelings there um I think what it is is just not one specific thing but all the little things that the you end up noticing lines. more yeah yeah and the other thing is like you know we we made when we made these it was intent intended to be on a you know four by three CRT TV and uh original Xbox only so especially seeing things on like a white screen and and some of the stuff where in high res are like oh wow okay that's a lot more noticeable now or uh some of the things that maybe we've been accounted for um I think one of the things, some of the things that always stand out are the things that like we've always had to chase down and stuff like the one frames for cutscenes, um, and some of the animation pops and things like that. Uh, so those those always kind of then also like you know I, I work with uh, Anna and Eric Wall and a bunch of like the the dialogue and, and cutscene um, work. So those things kind of always um, pop out to me as like oh I think okay. people are saying we I need get to, that one need to ride the boat. Wait, the boat's in scene too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you some, <laughs> some of the stuff that does really stick out in my mind are uh, not on this stream, probably a lot later. Some of the stuff we did for Meat Circus, but that we could talk about. Every, everybody's favorite. That will be. Um... I mean, that was fine, right, Jeff? <laughs> what was that? Meat Circus? Oh, you, you know, hey. You worked on that one? It's not my fault people are bad at the video game. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. We made some poor choices in that level. So, uh, <laughs> so one of the things I do remember, uh, just getting out of it, but it's fine. Um, when we were doing the, um, the, I think it was like the five-year anniversary Steam release of the game, um, because it was on PC, but it wasn't on Steam. Yeah. So, um, uh, Gabe Sinkopami, who kind of like was running with some of the ideas, wanted to, was was pitching that we, we made that version of the game. So there was a, a list of things and we couldn't do all of them, but some of it was was fixing some of the difficulty around Meat Circus. And when I was looking through the script, I realized uh, in the part where the water is going up, um, it was working fine, but if you ever happened to fall, it wouldn't leave the water where it is. It would reset you to like a predetermined location that's closer than it was before. <laughs> yeah, was... <laughs> if you were doing really well, it would be oh, like, yeah. oh yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did much worse. Um, so it's uh, finding stuff like that years later is terrifying and kind of almost funny. More terrifying. Yes, oh, I yeah. keep on getting lit on fire. It's the worst. It's terrifying. And I remember setting up the knife thrower guy. I, I didn't set up the knife thrower guy, but like I had to do the the wheel, yeah, uh, and, and all of that. And that was just such. God, we spent so much time getting that to work. Yeah, I do need one more script. Is what I need. People are telling me in chat. I, I think I, I think it still is up there though. So I think I'm on the right path. It's we'll get through this. We'll get through <laughs> all sorts of stuff. It's me getting lost. It's like. But I'm also getting lost and I'm not I'm not feeling it would be bad if I was like, ah, oh, no, I hate getting lost, but instead I feel good. Feel good about it. You get to see all the all the lovely art here. It's true. Um, one thing that was brought up earlier about like how, you know, uh, some things were paid to do or or like the thing Ray brought up with the rigs or whatnot. Um, and I think some folks pointed to this in previous streams how like some of the things that we did really wasn't the most ideal ways of doing things because for some myself uh included it's like the first video game i've ever worked on and we've gotten some like kind of nice guidance from our our more senior programmers but for some of it we were just kind of allowed to make a lot of mistakes um but i'm also really glad that we uh got to do that because you really learn that way and that also means that the different things that you try, you aren't impeded here or there. So, like, I actually really value the kind of uh, lessons I learned from this game, e even though for a lot of them, we're like, oh, we're not, we're not going to do that. Like, <laughs> different file for a uh, collision, and, and our, why would we ever do that? Let's not, let's not do that again. Right. Well, I mean, you know, this, it's not like there were a ton of, like, we were still in the early days of everything being in 3D, too, you know, like, so we were still learning just like you know people hadn't done some of this stuff before 
jumping around. I can do it. I can do it. I'm getting so many conflicting pieces of guidance from people in chat and people are going to be like, listen, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to do my best. Um, it is a lot of back, going back and forth though, Jeff, you are right, which is interesting. Um, but oh, that, that beats that, in really nicely. Yeah. Sorry. I was going to say that was kind of always the deal though, right? That was always the concept, right? It was always going back and forth with things. There we go. I can do this. I, I I love people in chat. They are they are our fans. I keep on having people who are like, go dark, go happy, go sad, go sad, go happy, and <laughs> just 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 one person, just one person needs to take take charge and be like, you are the captain now. And that's fine. And I will deal with YouTube comments later of people calling me a goober. But there's like three of you who are like, it's actually this. And then one person who's like, it's this. Right? Yeah. It's like somebody says Twitch plays <laughs> Psychonauts. It feels like it a little. <laughs> I do I do think you have to get into the boat. So whatever scene the boat's in, you got to go jump in the boat. Yes. And ride the boat. Does Ford give you a hint here? Does he help? Well, I mean, I think I think I I think I know it, but like, I've been trying to be accommodating to the people in chat, and what's happened has been a lot a lot of people being like, go dark, go light, up. It's like up left, but I'm on a delay from them, right? Which is like much different, um, which I, is very funny. You did great. There, I went into the boat. Yes, there we go. There's the script that I need. Does that so, water have a waterproof? Someone said, yeah, like... Yeah, it does. So, just for me to vindicate myself, somebody said go dark and then hop on a dragon and do a bunch of things, and none of that was correct. So, thank, yeah, the, the, so thank you. The water has a water curse. That's why you have to take the boat to yes. get up here. Can is I? it like a real water curse, or did we do like a? No, there's yeah. I See, I can hop into it. Hand. I can do it again. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, right. That, that felt like got in the way. But we jumped in. Yeah. Oh, Always that's very cool. good. Getting grabbed. Oh, that's a fun little snappy moment too, which is very very good. I don't. That's fun. I forgot about that little hand. Yeah. Now, I think now you want to go through that portal. Yes. Because then we have to do the last one is bad. Well, not that sounded like I was making a judgment of it. <laughs> that sounded like I was like, and the last one is bad. Uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, not what I meant at all. Um, but I got to get to the balloon. Yeah, so, so I think now you turn it sad, and then you can get up there. Or the you can get the balloon to yes. go into the right position. Somebody like was this. I think the strings don't go all the way. <laughs> I don't worry fine. about it. It's yeah, fine. It's, 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 all, it's all fake. Do you run out of budget? You ran out of budget? You can only, yeah. strings can only go that far. Yeah, you ran out of yeah. uh, wire budget. Yeah. You run out of memory. <laughs> yes. Which is always very good. Because um, now we're through. Ah, the, oh, these scare me. The spinning... Use uh, invisibility. That's that's like our advice for like meat circus too. When people ask, we're like, oh, you could use invisibility, and you could also uh, grab some of those uh, <laughs> grab some of those daggers with TK. <laughs> Maybe you could stop being such a such a baby. Oh god! I, okay, I'm zapping these people because they are annoying me. That's a life lesson too. You can just zap people with your brain powers. Annoying people. I will say, as a general question, because it is true and we are allowed to at least say, how does it feel getting close to the end of Psychonauts 2? That must feel surreal. Right? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot a little. So many feelings. 
Yeah, it's, it's weird. Uh, but I mean, also, like, it coupled with everything that's happened <laughs> last year has made it that extra weird, so. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, I, don't need a... I mean, genuinely, I never thought we were going to actually make this game, right? Yeah. Um, and the fact that we're kind of near the, the, the end of it is, is, is pretty mind-blowing to me. Um, I didn't know we were going to finish the first one. <laughs> That's what people tell me. Yeah. So, <laughs> knowing that we finished the to be prevent, knowing that we actually finished this first one, I knew that we we could finish the second one. That's yeah. that's a an optimistic and powerful response. <laughs> I could probably finish anything. Anything ever. So, yeah. Well, a uh, uh, rich <laughs> Richard announced already. Spoiler alert: Psychonauts three, but. Who knows when that'll happen, and then maybe Psychonauts 4. Oh. <laughs> It'll just be annualized. No, we is he just trying to get work? What is he doing? I think, I, like... think he was, I think he was just trying to get work. We'll set, we'll set it up like Call of Duty. It'll be a, a, an annual Psychonauts. We'll have like six studios yes. produced. I was going to say, we'll buy like five more studios somehow yeah. and, and, be like, and be like, you're real famous for your kart racing games or whatever. Now please make our DLC. And then that's how that will go. Oh man, I can't even tell you how many times we've joked about making a kart racer for sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, now everybody in chat is gonna get super excited. <laughs> You've given the fans, so <laughs> I, I I'm putting on this harried act as I play the game um, a little bit, um, of like, oh who's telling me? Oh you people in chat better behave, you <laughs> you little rap scallions. But um, our fans are the best, and. Uh, the minute that you give them an inch, they will not only take a mile, uh, they will take your mile and the guys next to you mile and everything. Like the uh, now they're gonna be speculating on like abilities and power ups for weeks, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> What's special? Whatever, if, they, if you ever do make it, we just got to uh, ape that uh, the evil Luigi and just replace him with. Uh... <laughs> Bobby Zilt. <laughs> Bobby yeah. Zilt doing the yeah. stare, hitting you with a blue shell, whatever our equivalent of a blue shell would be. <laughs> I like this. I like this part of the level. This part, I like, I like the platform this one, part. This one was this fun one? to work on. Brad and I worked on this one. Um, he uh, he was working on the uh, the sensors that are in here. I remember it was funny because when we were building this upper space, it was like, oh, you know, you spent a lot of time puzzling. Let's make this Let's the make action. This. Yeah. Uh, and there's like. There was a. I, do you remember this key? There was a point where there was like a couple of sensors in here that would just run over and just punch you off of a cliff because we put them right where the uh, oh. where you would land yeah. so you would like jump off of a uh, yeah. uh, uh, a cantilever and then they would just punch you in the face and kill you. Just like <laughs> well, it was not quite as fun as we thought it would be. It's totally fun to get punched in the face by sensors. Oh whoa, slide. That is good. Oh, this Tramp is. Broken. This is good. Well, I'm better at these trampolines than I am. I'm I'm tilting my hand here a little bit. Oh, what? What is this? He's just chilling up <laughs> oh, here. Oh yeah, there's one. What? Oh yeah. There Jeff, is. what oh, is this? Man. What is this? Not nice. I can't believe <laughs> this. This is like climbing a ladder in here and getting knocked off. Can I? Ah. Can I even sneak up past his attacks? Probably not. I would yeah. probably need to zap him. Oh, oh, I think ow. you can go. You can Different go below. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got so. Oh. Um... oh, oh geez. Well, no, oh, I got. I got. Sandbags. I got so. I got so excited with zapping him <laughs> that I got hit by the sandbags. Uh, this yeah, that was devious. Yeah. That was wonderful. Hey, I, had, I had no part in the the sandbag machine gun. That's oh, that happening. was all. That was all a Brad Muir special. Yeah, I, I blame that all on Brad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, that part. That part. Uh, that was a uh, kind of mean. But that wasn't me. <laughs> that was that was uh quite seriously the scariest thing that's happened to me in this entire playthrough including like pe like we've had people singing show tunes and that caught me off guard but that was literally like a a super smart video game enemy beating me oh, i'm so bad at grabbing on to uh these bars sometimes even in i always love the sorry go ahead i was gonna say even in p2 i kind of am bad at it sometimes <laughs> It's the eternal conundrum. Is it a double jump or a single jump? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Always that depth perception. Oh, that should have you hit the. Oh no, that's a bug. Oh, key no. <laughs> I think I was. I think I was too far to the right. Probably. Yeah, this, is my this one's a little fiddly. It, in hindsight, should have probably not done that, but you know. You got it. That's you got fine. It. We totally I, got it. I remember when the when the uh, phantom designs came from Scott, and I was so I loved them. They're so cool. It's so cool. That was know? always just like this really exciting moment when when Scott would be working on a design and come he'd come and it was like because you'd have to go over it with him to model it and um, it was just always really kind of an exciting time. That man has impeccably unique vibes about him, and I mean that in a very nice way. Like, when he was yeah. on, he was on, he was just like, oh yeah, we're going over there, taking care of that. And I'm like, yes, thank you. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> I can only yeah, imagine he's... what it's like, like, comparing models and art with someone like that. Yeah, he has a work ethic that's just, yeah. I just can't. Oh, the same you know. Yeah. Because he would do, I remember coming in in the morning, it's pretty early, and he'd be there doing Double Fine Action Comics, even before he started his day. So he'd be just sitting there all morning working on on the, the, the daily comic, the daily you know. Comics. This. Which, you know, if anybody wants to start doing those again, yeah. we'll be able to. I keep on doing the double jump. I did it again. <laughs> oh, my nightmare. Oh, it puts me back here, though. Look at these checkpoints. Who was in charge of checkpoints? Can I fight them? <laughs> Keith, did we have to manually place all of them? There was like no automated system for checkpoints. You got to be placing no. them around, uh, right? Automated system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like it, it's not like uh, it's not like the fall in the water and there's like a, you know, it just yeah, puts you near the edge or whatever. Yeah. Like, like a safe ground that we have for uh, yeah for psychonauts too. Yeah. Um, no, I think we had to put uh, volumes down, and someone had to, to put it in manually. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna guess it was you or uh, Brad or yeah, Brady I can't, Stan? I can't, I can't one, remember. One it. Well, we know again that all the all the mean stuff was uh, Brad. Was, was yeah, Brad. That's what we're saying. Yeah, whoever's not on on the stream is just blamed for stuff. Yeah, he's not around to. <laughs> Has anyone already complained about how the super acrobatic animation is required, but then he has this massive head? Yeah. <laughs> is that is that a cause for concern for you, Ray? It, his, his well, it, always, head? It, it always was, because his arms barely reach like over his head. I mean, he always is constantly reaching over his well, head. Well, I think it's it would just... be I think it'd be a weirder issue if like his arms were clipping through his head or something that you really noticed, but like that doesn't seem to happen, so yeah. it seems okay. If you it's ever watch him like hanging from anything, it's the most awkward thing possible. Yeah, because he's got. I gotta get my arms. Uh, no, I, I don't have a. Ca I don't have a candle. I need a candle. A what? I need a candle. Gotta Wait. grab this candle over here. Oh. I was one yeah, step right. ahead. I think someone left a candle there. Oh, back when. I guess it's. I guess it's a timeless reference now, but I feel like, in two thousand ish, Phantom of the Opera still a little bit more timely of a reference than in twenty twenty. Although, who knows? Andrew Lloyd Webber would tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Fan like, Phantom is timeless. Jeff, I don't even know if we put material, like, actually painted materials on the Phantom, did we? Were they, was he just assigned? Oh, this I think cool. he was, I don't remember. Just assigned black and white material. <laughs> you, you'd have to ask Dave that, because I, I, I do not remember I don't know if they ever actually painted any for him. I thought I Oh man, those thing. things are mean. Uh, I don't know who's I, dropping those. I was getting hit phantoms. by those things. Yeah, he's over there. Phantoms <laughs> over there. He's over there, but yeah, they're still falling on you, so I'm not sure. Uh, that that's a continuity error. Somebody yeah. put, it, put it on IMDb yeah. or whatever. Listen, yeah, moving him around and having to do that is just too hard. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I do appreciate Raz's <laughs> approach to a lot of nonsense. Just is him going like, yeah, okay, sure, weirdo. And that's how I feel in life sometimes. It's very good. He's not that, uh, overly impressed by the Phantom. It's just misunderstood. Most monsters are. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, I do like levitation. I do like bouncing around on that ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So floaty. No, no, it's just so floaty. I can't. I love it. The double jump. 
the double jump still weirds me out. Oh, it's a, it, it's a powerful and lovely double jump. No, no, it's great. It's just, it's, uh... <laughs> I like how that, yeah. it's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yep, that's him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, he's, he's wearing his Spanx. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Well, I, I what the, the distance you can cover with that double jump, double jump and glide is so big. I just, I just couldn't understand how you could like build space l large enough to accommodate for that. It's important to have a big, big jump. Nothing's worse than a double jump that doesn't feel that worthwhile. Oh, he calls him tough. That's mean. Why do you gotta be? I was just saying that I, I like your vibes, Raz, but it's a little mean. Critic can take it. The critic can take it. Critics can't take criticism. I know. I was one. <laughs> we cry. It's fine. It is interesting to see the pre-rendered cutscenes because I'm watching this on a very large screen and I still think they look pretty darn great. But I feel like this is one of the things that people, if we were making a remaster, they'd be like, yep. updated graphics, do all the things. Yeah, that's what we've had yeah. lots of those discussions, and it's always like, well, those cutscenes. <laughs> we what we should do is, is make a really high res, like, bezel that is just shows like a 320 by 240 image. So. <laughs> oh yeah. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't even think we could re-render no. these cutscenes. No, no, no. That we means do the source assets are gone, right? Uh, no, I mean, we have the source assets, but we are, all, all, not all of them, but some of them were actually taken into Premiere and some things were done with them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we do have, we do have assets that are, you know, rendered out uncompressed um, movies of all of them. But oh. they, they still, though, they're still, though, not going to look gonna as good hit. as the, as the updated, um, you know, when you guys went in and did some updating on the... Mm -hmm. Did, didn't you do some updating on the game to make it look look better? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember doing much with those. Maybe, maybe Paul the Wedded or uh, some other folks have touched it since, but I don't think so. Um, it looks. I, th I always feel like the gameplay graphics look a little bit better than when we shipped. But, oh, oh, you mean in terms of the gameplay graphics, not the, yeah, just uh, gameplay. Not the just yes, oh, yeah, yeah, gets rid of my candles. Mm -hmm. It's at high resolutions and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, but um, I remember back then, uh, whenever we had a chance to do pre-rendered uh, cutscenes, um, it was oh. so much easier for us gameplay programmers because it paused the game and like we didn't have to worry about loading things in or or right. whatever. Uh, so I know it was much more work for other departments, um, but when we had one, it was. Yeah, it's just nobody was doing, no one was doing remasters. There were no, like, remastered things back then yet, you know, so we weren't really thinking about it. I mean, we didn't think it was going to be on PC. <laughs> we didn't think it was going to be on anything else but uh, the original yeah. Xbox, so. That's true. I forget how to levitate. Why am I forgetting Those a basic skill that I've been taught many times over? Because I, I know i got to float up. <laughs> yeah. I know yeah. what I have to do here. My brain is mush. This is, it's a busy week. There it is. Uh, th so the band's playing now, so you can, you can, uh, yes. Yeah. You can there we go, there we go. Oh, there yeah. you go. Oh, don't, good. Don't, get hit, don't get hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. I'm too good for that. I say it right before I die. Yeah. Were those flats, um, localized? Maybe Melina knows. Oh, I don't know. Oh, the, don't... um, yeah, maybe, huh? When they <laughs> the say insults? shallow, shallow, trite, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I wonder. I was that? Is that me? That, oh, I, that sounds like Tim. Oh. My microphone wasn't working. I thought I was dead. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to my stream. You guys didn't already start, did you? We I'm are, Jim. Bad news is, yes, we've 100% started. Oh, that's great. Oh, I'm gonna, Hi, everybody. I'm going to get burned. How many people are on today? I hear Ray and Jeff and Ray Keith. and Jeff and Key and I think Heather. Ru I think Rusty as well. Yeah, I'm always here. His name is David. <laughs> oh, well. I'm gonna get zapped. Here oh by the my fire. lord! 
What? That was a that was a health journey there. Oh, like you no. were going up and down multiple times. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> we're back in. <laughs> Easy peasy. Super good. You're doing great. Thank you. I appreciate that. It makes me feel good awesome. on the inside. And one in chat was mentioning where these words came from, which we mentioned one time before, but they um are Deion Hopkins, our VFX artist, took all these negative words from a review of White Chicks. The movie White Chicks. <laughs> Is that really true? <laughs> That's what he said, yeah. He, he had it up on the screen. <laughs> I forgot about that. He had it up uh, on the screen. He showed me. He's like, yeah, I was just grabbing words from this review. Uh, <laughs> who's this? Yeah, Deion Hopkins. The yeah, oh, really? Yeah. 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 First, okay. first wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't. Crude. Shallow. <laughs> vulgar. <laughs> And I've had people since then tell me that's a great movie. White Chicks? I have no yeah. clue. One way or another. Oh, there you go. I'll have to Wayne's watch. Magic. All I know about is is that I, I hear it's crude and shallow and vulgar. Oh, <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> uh, I like Jasper. I think we were going to have, I think that's, we were going to have a lot more characters that didn't have necks. Yeah, yeah his we head just kind of bounces that. about. We were talking about how yeah. the characters in this, because this was really early designs. Like, yeah, yeah. This was really early on, and they were much more weird. Yeah. Less, hu you know, less human, like. Yeah. I mean, there's a Scott design, but I think Peter Chan was always very into, like, characters that had, like, they called it Lost and Found. Like, things would go away, like, next. <laughs> but really, Rayman, I think, owns that, so you really can't, yeah. can't take the Rayman. That's, look. that's the, the best vibe for it, yeah. They, they nail it. Trying to not get hit as I float up, which is good. Those look like figments. Should really collect those. We should bug that. We should. Okay. Yeah, sure. We're using the player. We're gonna get playback feedback. Play this feedback. Well, I was telling folks that it? the uh, the figments in two are. I feel like they're more legible. Like they're easier to spot. Mm-hmm. For sure. And they have a fancier effect on them, and uh, they're easier to look at afterwards. In the viewer. Oh, look at those spinning. They're scary. They're, they might be the scary. scariest thing in the game, I say. Mm -hmm. This was one of the levels that was in the very first design document. Like, I had the little five-page document I, I sent to publishers, and we were trying to... Not the theater part of it, but the having a world that had two two moods, like a good mood and a bad yeah, mood. Yeah, happy and sad type, type thing. That was what? always, like, one of the first things we wanted to do. We did the thought of Sekant's game. We are like, oh, what if the world that changes depending on the mood of the person? When did that eventually become a theater concept? That's a great I question. I don't know. I remember I was thinking a lot about, I used to work at the Grand Lake Theater in Oakland. I was an usher. Like, I would run in between the movie theaters and be all these secret passages. And so there were the actual catwalks. I had to go up on the catwalks to go turn on the big neon sign on top of the Grand Lake. And, catwalks are fun. Um, and there was a basement catwalk. We called it catacombs. There were catacombs beneath it that were locked that you could sneak into. Ooh. And for, the, for a while, this level had catacombs. Um, remember those, Ray? Jeff? Did you build them? Uh... Yeah, I, I, I inherited oh, the level and it had a, a lower area, but then that got removed. Yeah, it and, had a big uh, catacombs. It's like it a the... underneath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. It was it was way more Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, at the very beginning. Then it was a um less theater, a more Phantom. There's a piece of concert art where it looks like a, a wasp nest that's lit up from the inside and made of a bunch of paper and stuff. And I think we never used it because it was in the catacombs and it got cut. I think we tried to bring it back for a second. That's too even. I think it's still never been made. You know, these little pet pieces of concept art reject. Oh, this bugs me because it's kind of a low res texture. Oh. But you're looking yeah. at Benita. Yes. Yeah, and we're looking at it in a cutscene, too. We were talking about the, the cutscenes. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this is so nice. This is the quote. Yeah. I, I quote this lock because Chris Brown was recording the dialogue for this. She goes, This is what I love is that every level is about healing. And, like, this is Benita's moment. It's good. I also feel good for the stage manager. <laughs> As somebody who's done a lot of stage management. Becky has too. And the amount of times is getting the stream set up sometimes feels like stage man management too, so I feel feel for mm. you. You make it look so easy. Look at how small he is. He's a little he's not dead. Everyone needs a little critic. <laughs> he's sitting in the uh, <laughs> like the popcorn <laughs> thing is the best, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Techie got one hanging from your neck. Your it's knees are okay. You just snuck when you laugh. It's always fun to write insults. So I guess then another thing I'll ask is 
when you're writing a critic, I mean, that's the it's the natural question to ask. How yes, much it's based on me. Yes. Well, yes, it's you and the way that you shut down every idea ever. No, I was wow. gonna say, I was, yeah. <laughs> Please, I've been I've been very nice to you during most of these streams. Wow. I can wow. be, I can I can climax. be fake mean. <laughs> fake mean for a moment. Um, I was that's gonna ask. Trite. I was trite. gonna ask how much of that ends up being any like how much are you pulling from real world, world experience? for that right Cause you, yeah because you made chicks. you'd made so well not from white chicks but you'd made Besides so many games chicks. that then and had reviews come in or things like that Did you oh like that? that sort of thing you know i would have if we'd ever gotten a bad review but i you know unfortunately <laughs> we hadn't any so i had to go you know other sources yeah of course. Um, <laughs> i mean it was more like um you know thinking about inner inner editors you know in the writing like i was writing this example i always use for monkey island when i wrote uh, I just needed some temporary dialogue, so I wrote, look behind you, a three-headed monkey, when you're talking to the villagers. And I thought it was temporary, because it's so stupid. Like, this is a three-headed monkey, it's really right. stupid. And uh, Ron's going to write the real dialogue. And Ron came up and read it, and he's like, no, that's it, we're going to keep it with that. And I'm like, what, are you kidding? And then after a while, I got, I got used to the idea, and Steve Purcell drew the monkey. And I was like, oh, this, is, this does work. And um, you realize just how much, you in your own head, you have creative ideas, you have these wacky ideas, and then this little inner critic shows up, and he's like, that's true, bro, right here. That's a, that's silly. That's not serious. Get serious, you know. Yeah. And then, um, and, you, and that and it's fine to have a little bit of a critic that tells you you're, you know, when you need to improve things. But like, if they get too big, sometimes it gets so big you're just immobilized and you can't do anything. Well, I've had. I, it's funny, kind of you mention that a little bit because I've had some people, especially who want to get into like the previous line of work that I was in for like journalism or things like that, and I always tell them the person who's going to be like your biggest enemy like the person who you should not let who shouldn't get in the way of you feeling confident or like you enjoying what you do is yourself right like you can't you can't psych yourself out let other people psych you out but don't psych yourself out <laughs> why napoleon look at these people that's why oh yeah because uh, you can still get away with french jokes that's true you yeah, one of the few uh, stereotypes you can still get away with. I feel like we can get away with that in 20 Except for in France. Except for in France. It's true. But do you remember this, Tim, though? And this Wasn't this like a real, almost like looked like a real chess game? like a Yeah, it was a rectangular uh, flat board. It was like it was overhead. A, almost. I think Garv or someone got it working as a, a board game. I don't know if the game was completely playable, but there was a functional rectangular square board uh, game for a while. That's, uh, isn't, isn't that in the... Um, in the asylum, he's playing it with his feet. It's a it's a square. He's <laughs> actually moving the pieces around. There's definitely oh, so stuff that, like on yeah. the floor and but stuff. No, but there. this but the whole level of the mental world um, was yeah. like that too. And yeah, then we were right. like, something's wrong about this. And I used to love free flying the camera. And I would free fly the free uh, free fly the camera <laughs> like down really really low along the level of the buildings. And I was like, this looks really cool. Isn't this so cool? And I just always love miniatures and scale playing with scale. Like that feeling of like. <laughs> When you have a train set and you lay your head down on the track and you watch the train coming at you in really slow motion. I just love uh, little things, getting down the level of little miniatures. Do you ever, I, we... I was going to say, do you ever watch footage of old timey trains and think that they're going to crash into you because you don't understand how film works yet? Well, in my day, yeah, I would go yeah. to the theater and pay a nickel and go see that and freak me out. You get scared. <laughs> yeah, because I'm scared. 150 years old. Yes, it's true. And I'm 150 in two weeks. Well, no, the only. <laughs> I hear another voice. Hey. Howdy. Did you build these characters? I, I remember building several sets of characters for this level. That sounds yeah, like I noticed true. the joints are separated. Napoleon's stilt legs have a little gap oh, yeah. between the Down at the bottom, yeah. I love that chair. That was a lot of fun <laughs> to make this chair. For folks who are wondering who this is, this is Dave Russell. Dave, can you introduce yeah. yourself for the folks at home again, even though plenty of them probably know who you are by now? Yeah, my name's Dave Russell, but sometimes you might hear people call me Rusty. And you don't like it. I, I, it's I'm too, so used to it by it's now. Too it's too late. It's I did weird it. if people yeah. call me Dave. <laughs> Tim corrected me. He was like, mm. he was like no, not yeah. today. You know, I only did that because I thought that Dave was listening. <laughs> and I wanted to score points with Rusty. <laughs> and uh, Dave is our uh, lead animator on Psychonauts. Right, leave it the animation department. Is that what we called it? That's yeah, what I like. In the credits it. is lead animator. Okay. I need to find the carpenter, right? Because you're so humble and modest. And also, Dave's been building our characters at Double Fine for 20 years. 20 years. 
crew. We've had others come and go, but Dave has been the main one and the most consistent one. And the best one. Look at those <laughs> characters. <laughs> Very good. They got to help this fellow down here. Go in there. Any carpenters home? Go away, burglar. I'm not a burglar. Carpenter has such a funny mellow voice. It's very chill. We're a little light in our core of I feel like that burglar. happens in a lot of our games. I know you're a burglar. Mellow uh, burglars? I mean, uh, mellow. Just a couple folks who have like very mellow feels. It's always good. So, oh, wait, his arm's going through that. So, oh, look at that bug. You guys. If I'm a burglar, then how uh. Key, was this one of the first? Was this one of the first levels you worked on, Key, when you came on? Uh, not this level. I um, I think my very first task on the project was working on Fred and the Asylum. Um, and and oh, hooking making up that work, right? behavior. Oh, the arm pops out there too. Look. <laughs> yep. It's fine. It's good. Don't worry. Um, I mean, this actually makes us feel better because we're doing triaging bugs on second level two right now. We're like. Well, is it okay that there's a small seam in this one thing that you can only get to by helicopter? And I'm like, ah, oh, if it makes you feel bad to leave that in the game. But if you look at this game, you can see the bouncer's hand run right through that pole. That's right. You've been having Good. all sorts of meetings trying to narrow down that sort of stuff. I, mean, I think overall, I think P2 has fewer bugs than P1. I don't know if that's fair to say. That's my Me feeling. Knows. I have no clue. But I've had many years to play this game and find all the bugs. Oh, look at these happy fellows. Every time, Ray. It does make me feel good. Too long. Too oh, long, Raymond. Too long. I do miss, I, I miss how long they are, though. Actually. Like, we shortened them for the second game, but they're still cute. <laughs> yeah. We did. really cute. My biggest regret in life is making those too long. They are great. And people can skip them if they want. If they're heartless, soulless people, they can skip them. <laughs> they're delightful. Watch them at least once. Watch them once. Yeah, watch them once. Now we gotta skip. climb up here somewhere, or maybe the other spot. I was. We cut the the functionality for the emotional baggage was going to be that you collect it, you just collect a bunch of emotional baggage, and then it would build up by like a the upper opposite side of like your health meter or something. It would start to fill up with emotional baggage, and eventually it would cut into your stats. Like you, it would start to hurt you to have so much emotional baggage. Then you go into a mini game that was gonna be like Shanghai or like um. Mahjong, Shanghai type thing where you had to sort the baggage in a mini game, and that would have, that was how you cleared it out. And then we decided we didn't want to do that because that would be work. And it'd be tedious. You'd be like, oh, I want to collect these things, but I don't want to. Did, you know, did oh, we ever... I love that transition. Key to that transition. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, Look at the scale that. change. Wow. Super cool. That is very good. Cool. It does look. Right? Velocity we... making them go up. That's cool. Because then we can did... shrink back down. Well, did we ever the do the, use the, the emotional roadblocks? Did we ever use those? No, they got cut. No. Nice concept art of them somewhere, but there are these crying <laughs> roadblocks. There's animation and models for them too. We we went. They went Dude. all the way to yeah, yeah, yeah. These little transitions here, going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. The the big one is a fake Raz, and then the it scales into to the real character. Mm -hmm. I should grab. How did you scale him, Keith? Since we didn't we didn't make a different rig, right? No, we scaled them. <laughs> They're different environments, right? There's a, a small environment, a big environment, right? Yeah. There's a uh, small, medium, and the, the the outside one. Where is the um secret? Is there is it the castle, or where do you see the Napoleon in the back window? Right, that's what I was trying to remember. If you look, if you look up, do you see him? Yeah, I thought you could. Uh, let me get to the roof away from this guy. Get that. Me. This sh oh, shelf. Oh, well, I can. Oh, yeah. There, I can. Well, actually, I'm at max. That's why I couldn't pick it up. I was like, why can't I pick that up? Yeah, if we look up, can we see? You could, but a Napoleon. It, you could see the but ceiling, but I think there's a building where you could see yeah. little. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like I a castle. Mm. I can't see him. I, I, I don't we're... know if it's a castle. It's like um. Something. Maybe we're all remembering that uh, the credits render that we did where you could see both. No, of them. it's it's here. Oh, that's oh, true. Totally here. Wait, wait. Totally here. What's the what's the villa? There's a villa somewhere, right? There, right in front of you. Oh. Is that the villa? Uh. I don't know. I know I have to sneak by here. Invisibility. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely skill. Look at that. It's a good powers puzzle. You missed a figment, but... Oh, I can't... So when you get a moment, go around the yeah. back, back side of that uh. blue villa. I'm going to help out the carpenter for a minute. You're really on task. I'm not admiring I'm trying. I'm trying a lot to be but on there's task. Like, i got to finish this game. 
<laughs> we got to do Black Velvetopia and I'll... Meat Circus next time. Key, could you bug, Jeff, could you bug the collision on the feet of the, on the roof, the IK oh, at the okay. vault? That's a wonderful yeah, one. Sure. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that is like one of my favorites. <laughs> so good. <laughs> So mad that he's losing the game. <laughs> uh, I am the orderly. He's gonna punch him. He's gonna punch him. Yeah, it's, I think these guys are the best to tumble around behind them. Oh my god, he jibbed? He jibbed? <laughs> yeah, he jibbed the Yeah, he yeah, made <laughs> arms and legs blow off of his body. A really violent game. Oh, yeah, he made John Romero really proud. I think, okay, do a ball. Do a ball. You're gonna do it. I don't need to tell you. To roll down and get the no, stuff. Ball roll and then you do a jump off that roof. Yeah. Oh, but you're, you're helping. We have squirrel jibs though, right? Oh yeah, they, yeah, they blew to pieces. Yeah. Squirrels yeah, aren't so. people. Oh, Heather. What? Really close. Really close. You got <laughs> some of them. You got some you got, of them. Uh, <laughs> There'll be other games. There'll be other games. Oh my gosh. But now go behind that blue roof villa. Blue roof villa. Go behind oh, it. Oh, okay. Finish your mission. Finish well, your I mission. can go behind it. It's okay. <laughs> Go like all, all behind I think it it's here. This one. Go left. Yeah. Look for a window. On the right. On the right. Over here? Or? No. Right. The, the right. The right. This, no, that's not the right. I'm... Right? Am I saying right? Am I, is my screen I'm, flipped? I'm spinning my camera. Uh, keep keep going that direction. That's right. Oh, okay. Now, okay. That building. Follow that building around. I think that's the one. Follow around behind it. Not the one Made I'm him, standing in front straight of. Straight ahead of you. This? Well, no, not that one. That's the... Carpenter. This. Who's going first? The to your left. Okay. Yeah, I've got a lag. Right. I've got a lag. No, so he has. Uh, that's hard. the thing. He there's like probably like five seconds lag. So like go here. This way. It doesn't oh, help this, me. this yeah. way. Oh, Where you're here, going five seconds ago. Now look on the back wall for a little ladder. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. There it's it right is. Here. There we go. Oh, you can see them oh, inside the. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Oh, I about that. this oh, is what? really recursive and weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can't break the glass. They're so small. I love it. Is that figment not pickable? Is that no, I room? can grab it. Yeah. It looks like it's in the Oh, good. Room. Yeah, I can totally grab that. Easy peasy. No worries. You're doing great. Thank you for accommodating my. <laughs> weird. Well, I'm I mean. I hope people like that. Part of the I hope fake. someone saw that for the first time. Part of the like, fake what? joke has been like, you're my boss. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, okay, I'll go. But it's also like, I, I forgot. I am actually, actually your boss. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Let's get this. Um, okay, you can come out. Board games, on. though. Transition. Bad segue. Um, you play okay. plenty of board games, and I know sometimes there's board game stuff mm -hmm. happening at Double Fine. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. this is this mostly just meant to be a, a, a Catan-type deal, or were there other things that you were pulling from your mind at the time? You know what? I had no interest in board games at all when we made this. I never played board games. <laughs> I don't know if someone else on the team did like them, but really? I think... Yeah, I, I um, was kind of almost anti board game for a That's while. Like, people would be at a party and be like, why don't you come over here and play Super uh, Catan? I'm like, no, I'm at a party. I don't want to. Play. Uh, you, you mentioned Stratego, I think, when we were working on this. Like that, though... Yeah, that was my level of board game knowledge at the time. Yeah, that feels really old school. Stratego. <laughs> I don't think Catan existed when we started this in 2000. Wow. No. Remember Catan? People talking about Catan for the first time during this project, like in, like in 2001 or two. But I would have thought of this. What's the what was the hex game? I mean, we had their hex war games. Yeah, of course. Uh, BattleTech is. A, I <laughs> this is a little that. different than BattleTech. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, but Peter Chan put hexes in his concept art. I wonder what he was referring to. Because he doesn't play board games at all. I was like, why aren't you moving? I'm like, oh, I should probably use use my abilities that the game gives me. Fix it. Fix that bridge. He's got it. Oh, now who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Oh, Thanks, hey. We'll get I'll you take care of that for you. Man. Almost a, um... Oh, almost I feel like, like a, I'm seeing some stretch polygons there. Well, I mean, I am playing it at, like, right on my TV at, like, 16.9, like, whatever the heck, right? So, probably there's some stuff that looks a little... Funny, Can you do me one, one more favor? Can you walk under that bridge you just fixed? Yeah, of course. I find this really satisfying. Walking under the bridge? Look at that. Look at that. Like, oh. there's so much so much of the collision we have to do in games is really broad, so you can't go anywhere small because it's always problematic. But these bridges are so tight, you just barely fit under them, but it feels really good. 
That's a that's a penny pleasures I take. No, we can just games. we can just sit here hey, and vibe is, in it. Yeah, I'm is feeling he, that. Is he Look standing in water, Tim? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but, ooh. Uh, he goes, no, no, no. It was yeah, allowed. Yeah. That was allowed. Yeah, yeah. He's ankle deep. Uh, he's he's always always so, uh, yeah, 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 it's okay. about it's under his knees. Under his in knees. the campground too, when he goes into rivers and stuff. Yeah, it's I fine. guess that's good. Under his knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just can't go over his um thighs. That's how he takes baths. To be able to take a bath. That's true. That's he true. does need to wash. You're right. Mm. Mm. You need some fan art of him taking a bath with the water curse hand scrubbing his back. Man, so watch what you <laughs> ask for. Yeah, I, I, I take it back. I don't want any fan art of bathtub scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, I need to go. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, Ray. Oh, Ray. Bye, Ray. Goodbye, Ray. Thanks for animating. Good job animating. I've got, to, I've got to head out as well, but uh, I always uh, pictured Raz, if he's taking a shower, like tiny little fists punching <laughs> him He's getting the punched. Face. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> That's how he gets clean. He holds the bar of soap and he punches him through the soap. You heard it. You heard it, fans. We need... <laughs> No. Pictures of no. Raz getting in the in the in the rain, getting punched in the face by rain or whatever. Tiny little molecular. Okay. How do I get Bye. all the way up? There you go. Because I know I have to grab. There's like some sort of what are you trying to, are coin you trying? that I eventually need to grab, right? Oh, I got to move this. One of them wants money, but you earn money by um. Yes. You earn money with the snails, right? No, you bring the snails to the hungry night. One of the guys just wants money, right? Let's get rid of that. Oh, it shatters. That's very good. You know, it shrinks into nothing and then shatters. <laughs> <laughs> it's always very good. I think... Is there... I know there's a coin somewhere that they definitely want me to... He wants money. Uh, there's a small... You do all the small platforming challenges. Like there's a, one of the little houses you do a, a intricate platforming move. Through. Intricate What's platforming moves? I can talk to a lot of the small folk, the small tiny. It's like, it's like what do you call it? An action path. What was that? Oh, a cannon! These guys shot you. I think. Oh. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, I know. The coins and this coins not in this room. I feel like it's all the way up in like in the fireplace or something weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But how do I? You can PK those guys into the water. That's a really mean way to kill them. Oh, like this. Yeah. Yeah, like with real snails. My mom used to put a bucket, like a murder bucket, out in the garden, and she'd throw snails into this bucket. Oh, now it's just bouncing. Oh, and then oh, it sinks. No, 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 oh, he suffers. He has enough time to think about his mistakes he made as a snail. That's cruel. Now you jump in there, get Whoa. all the. Uh, yeah, I coins. can grab all the things. Oh wait. Do it. Oh, look at that. Oh, can I? I'm get kidding. It? Don't do it. Can I get some arrowheads? Oh, it's real tempting. I think you can jump in the middle of it in water. Oh, it's too late. Nah, they all went away. It's a bummer, bummer. Can I grab that? No, I'm still good. How how do I go all the way up? Corks. Champagne corks. I thought there was like one more layer, even multiple layers, layers upon layers. I mean, three. You have three, to climb up the... count the the room with the two of them. Punch yeah. that. Punch yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's the one that's gotten me. Yeah. Oh, now I'm stuck. There we go. Because that'll get me nice and big, which is always good. And then they go with the ladder. Yep. I can burn wood with my mind. I can burn wood with my mind. Which is good. That would be uh, how you say cheating. That's right, the ladder. That's what I was looking for. I was looking in the wrong direction. Um oh, these fun transitions. Because I think there's something yeah, oh, it's that. that it's that over there that I want. Nope. There it is. Nope. Yeah, we got the coin. See, like, oh, I you know that that would have burned your hand like in Raiders of the Lost Ark. You would have grabbed it and went. Ah! Ah! I got enough memories of my Very good. Ancestors I remember like bits and pieces. It's, it's, it's been so long since I've played heading towards the end of the game, but yeah, I remember these little bits and pieces of like, oh, there's a coin somewhere or like X Y Z, and I really, I really appreciate that because it's like I don't know. There's something about having these little flashes of memory that feels really, really nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm always just happy when my memory works at all. I was say, welcome to my life, Heather. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I remember something. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I mean, I am... I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to cause a fuss here, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little younger, so I don't forget stuff as much. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not waking up every morning going, this is not my beautiful house or whatever it is y'all do, <laughs> <laughs> which is good. Um, yeah, where is the other peasant? Oh, no. I don't can you go up this? Oh, wow, you can't go yeah, up this. Yeah, you can. I think it might be over here. Because I was like, I don't need to go that far. Which is very, very good. Hi. Is this big soldier bugging you? Yeah. Well, why don't you come out here and fight him? <laughs> That's the solution. Yeah, it's this fella right here. This coin, the, ima this, the image of this fella on the coin. <laughs> Of like, like bagel. Vaguely. I was say, that looks like bagels. <laughs> yeah. And we could only afford uh, eight edges. That any more would have yeah. broken. But uh, I think the sad thing about this level is I think you talk each one of these citizens into their death. Like I think you can be. Such, I think they all die. It's. If they're on his mind. Everybody not, dies. Yeah. That's why we call it war or whatever. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Well, wait, what does Sonic have to do? <laughs> There's a quote in one of the Sonic things where they, they're they like, oh, Sonic's being tortured by Robotnik. And you're like, well, that's a little heavy. And they're like, there's nothing good about war. And you're like, you're like talking about Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Um, <laughs> it's very intense. I think, yeah, this is the, now it's coin time. Very good. Check out this coin I is it? Yes. Forget what scale we are. Call me two weeks. If we don't get more funding, wait, wait, but if, I mean, two weeks, if we don't get more funding, I'm going to jump ship. Oh, I think that's from my life. Like, I I'm was... recruiting employees, and they're like, okay, I'll sign on a double fine, but if you don't get more funding in two weeks, I'm Don't gonna get quit. more funding? Yes. Mm -hmm. I just keep on trying to find the right peasant. Because I know. I don't We didn't put different icons on the doors. We should have put, like... Out bullet shopping. Be back in a bit. A thing you do very, <laughs> very regularly. Out bullet shopping. Uh, which is very, very mm -hmm. good. Does anybody remember where this fellow is? Because I certainly do There's not. There's only three doors, right? Yes, because there's this, the one we've already spoken to who was like near the carpenter, and then I do not recall. I do like, we can still go under the bridge even now, Tim, even though it's dangerous for us to do it. Not with, oh, what a showy move. It looks great. Yeah, look Wait. at Oh, there you double. Oh, I'm not yeah. gonna go. I, I can't make it through. Can you get across? Can you get across? No, I would. Go. I mean, I can hop. You get an achievement. You get an achievement if you do. Don't. Does this version even have achievements? Uh, no. I don't know don't, if it does. Okay, I'm totally lying. lying. No. Hey Tim, Marius, Marius wants to know if uh, the idea for Raz's Spear of Water was a storytelling reason first, or an excuse to avoid spoon sequences first. <laughs> is that our is that our Marius? That's our Marius, yeah. Hey, Marius. Hey, it's probably got to be a little bit of both, right? I don't know if I could get my head back in its face to remember which came first. Because uh, usually we wouldn't have shirked at putting in too many features into a game. If you remember, like we. <laughs> Like we're a legend, we're like the answer is always yes. Whenever the question is, can the player, dot dot dot, and so he probably would have put, tried to put something in, even though it was probably a bad idea. So I bet it was a storytelling thing first. I mean, I think the I think the water curse is a pretty original. I mean, like very very early on idea. Oh, yeah, I don't have to really try hard to remember that. Don't ask. I don't remember. I mean, we technically have underwater stuff. What do they want from me? Sort of. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just swimming in a cave. We finally figured it out. <laughs> finally. <laughs> After so many years, we got swimming guess. done. You give up? Bingo. Hey, you take that little so he wants... Because there's another thing I can give to one of the... One of the peasants. It's a lot of stuff. Are people asking any news on the second one yet? I hope they mean Psychonauts. Um, it's still coming. They mean the second, the second peasant. They like, have the you second peasant. Any second news peasant? on the yeah. second peasant? Um, second if you remember where it is, Heather? This year. Uh, Fred look, Fred cares. Like, we should have put a... Oh. Well, then... Oh. Why are you What's not taking the coin? Just ever. What? What? But I have the coin, and I have the thing. Does he need more coins? Oh, you have to get the so no, you have to get the soldier away. Oh. Well, can I just get big and punch him? Um... Probably, right? Does something beat the soldier? I remember getting like a list of rules of how these pieces were supposed to interact when they go right next to yeah. each other. Eric Robson, everybody, Eric Robson. Yeah. Yeah, let's get rid of the soldier then. 
Uh, I mean, I don't think I... you ever fight them. I think you move in, you talk to peasants, and they come fight them. Is that it? Yeah. Or you move another soldier next to him to, to fight him? There aren't any friendly soldiers. They don't fight each other if you put them next to each other? Oh. I thought that was... Wasn't that it? Oh, Someone's saying to, re to recruit them in order. Yeah. Uh, I'll hop on down and just talk to have them. You tried, have you tried the knight? Hungry knight? No, I don't think I have. But maybe this will get... She last. This She's will last. get the first one to come out, I think. If I'm correct. He does care. Oh, that's right. He does. The other one wants money, but he can't come out because the soldiers in the way. Yes. So this guy cares. I always forget which one is which is the thing. And there's not even that many of them. I just go, which one is the we one? We should have. That's not your fault. We should have put an icon on the door. It should have been like the some sort of flag. The one should have been not a coin. Ah, oh, such a a bold commentary on war. The cruel machine of war. We got it. We're bouncing through. Man, I I worked on this level and uh, I'm remembering more of the bugs than the actual way to actually finish the level. Oh, <laughs> fix all the bugs. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's running. It's perfect. Uh, no, the memories of the bugs that we fixed. The the. Mm -hmm. the, the that happy cheese looks like Memories that still exist in my brain. Oh, uh, camera angle. Jump in front of camera angle. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, if I do it. And they got a TK of the other guy. Yeah. Over there, right? I think so. I think I think you send him over there with. Uh... And I think and the fact that you guys made it work so like probably multiple spots can be you can be TK'd into. Yeah, like over here, right? Well. Yeah. You have to see green on. Yeah. It the red makes it you can't go to that spot. I think you can take multiple steps too, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta get him right next to it. Yeah. So you yeah, can, yeah, it's like, it's kind of like you said, you can do the multiple steps. It's a working uh, key. You got a working uh, board game. You can put him on any, uh, numerous valid spots. Yeah, uh, but look, man. who's left yeah, afterwards? Yeah. Dar, yeah. Dar, I kill you. I cannot believe it, Fred. You have <laughs> key, is, that yeah, just, is that a matter of just marking each square? Well, I mean, not. I'm simplifying it because I'm a dummy, but you're kind of marking each square as which ones are absolutely the valid ones to put the pieces on them yes i think there was a um a, a representation um of what each square was and what was next to each other and what was valid to go and what who occupied where and that kind of stuff right oh. and now i think i can go down to this fellow with the coin i'm recruiting for bed what's the pay yeah, there we go. The soldier was the thing getting in the way. We had all the stuff that we needed, which is very, very good. Oh, here we go. Feel so smart. F. For Fred. Part of the reason. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's get bigger. And move some pieces around. Recruit another peasant. Where's the last one? My goodness. No, no, it's just going down the list. I was like, I, I got peasants. I got peasants for days. <laughs> That's a phrase. Mm-hmm. That's like Northern California, I thought. Yeah. Four days. <laughs> ah, California. You missed it. Oh, that's Wait, what? You can punch it from the side. You don't need to be on the bubble. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I did it. You have your own style. You have your own I style. I did it one way. Did it my way. You have to fix that bridge with the car carpenter again? I think so. I thought he could get that until you fix the bridge. Until you move your troops. So it kind of goes. Just like a real board game. <laughs> bit by bit. You gotta establish your trade routes. I do like ch chucking them back and forth. It's very, very nice. Oh, California. You got my mind going. I was telling folks, I'm heading out there in a week, Jim. I'll yeah, finally, I'll finally actually get to see. We'll finally get to meet you. I, you finally get to see the office and all of that, right? It's uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, people keep talking about it. I don't know if it's real or not. It's I mean, a, the office is kind of weird now because we haven't been. It's like this weird ghost town with like my office. I found evidence that a mouse had been in there. Oh no! <laughs> it's all dark and spooky. It's really usually a lively and happy place. Lively and happy, wonderful place. 
but I guess it's time to put an end to this. I the the note I don't even know what traveling looks like in the world anymore. <laughs> like, the real world is not real. And we have to we've had to make a game. And everybody Everybody's risen to the occasion on that front, which is cool. Yeah. So we gotta get it. Wait, before you get the night. Yes. You, you, you go into the woods and find this one figment for me. <laughs> I have a lot of requests for this level. <laughs> like, become small and then go find yeah. one figment for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I can do that for you. It's what, a, it's a, this is a service for the community. What, because what, what do you need? There's to one figment. There's really only one unfairly placed figment. We wanted to have this one figment that was hard to find, but we didn't give you any hints of where it is. So it's somewhere along the upper edge of the forest. You have to go around the whole map oh, okay. in the bubble. It's like a little, there's a little fairy in the woods. I, I like have how you, you found it. Uh, no, but I like how your request was like, so I need you to do this one thing for me. Uh, and it's the, circumnavigated the entire just map. Just go through it the entire map and find this one thing that we. It's, it's like. Yeah. Even Wait, more. I guess like, you gotta hard look to find. more in the trees. Oh, look, you're under his feet. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm hopping all the way um, around. <sighs> we, that was a big. Big characters with big feet. That was a big tech thing we had to fix in Brutal Legend. Why, was, hate cage. why would that be the case? Well, like a little character like Raz, when he changes direction, he spins on a dime and like you don't really notice his feet sliding a lot. But when a character like Napoleon spins like that, you can see these giant tree trunks moving around on the ground and it, it's more noticeable. And so Brutal Legend had a lot of units like that, a lot of big stilt walking crazy units right. that we had a great had this great like foot sticking tech so they could turn around without any sliding. So I'm down in but this was the early days. So go in the tree if you cut through the trees a little bit more, yeah. Yeah, I'm down here. We're gonna find this. We're gonna show the community and they will see. <laughs> I don't know how well, I feel about this. they're playing this Game Pass. I don't know how Why? I feel about this. I don't know. It feels... I mean, this is like, like Tips and Tricks. Tips and Tricks magazine. Listen, I roll with it, but also at the same time, it's like... You literally is, it, is, it, is it this one? Oh, you found it. Wait, look at it before you collect it. It's a little I think fairy. It's a fairy. Yeah. What's a fairy? Right there. Awesome. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? No one ever finds this one. No, they're trying to 100% the game. There's, because there's no indication there's a... Yeah, I always wish we'd put little air like other figments that were like arrows that kind of led you on a breadcrumb trail to it. That's I have my regrets. Listen, but there it is, the mysterious fairy of Waterworld. I don't want to say that I didn't believe you, but <laughs> there is definitely a but part of me. Uh, I say this affectionately. There's definitely a part of me. That, figments. There was definitely a part of me that was like, oh, this this could be bullshit. This could be. <laughs> This, this is I'm I'm pranking you. This could be. Hey, uh, why don't you go find the board lengthener? Yeah. Out okay. The woods? Okay. New kid. <laughs> Yeah, yeah there's the a new nurse there, at the hospital. Go get the fallopian tubes. There's okay? a there's a fairy in the woods and there's a uh, a swimming pool on the roof. Go find it. Like it's like that same energy. <laughs> yeah. Has ever been snipe hunting? Yeah, yeah fine. Ba go bag me a nematode, buddy. Like God, there's so many of these hunting. things. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nope, there's really a fairy. And people got mad at us because they couldn't find it. And you're right, you're right. Learn, learn, learn. I gotta find the knight next. Who is over this way, I think. Right? Or at least there's another peasant to recruit. Yeah, close there, the forks and knives. Yeah, yeah the forks and knives flag. Hello. Yeah, but you're are you there yet? Maybe it's nice. Caring and generous, Fred Bonaparte. Weapon. What? Weapon. That's what I want. I'm not gonna die like the others, okay? That's the spirit. You get me my special money. Oh, but you are going to die. But where's the... I think I left it buried in some hay. <coughs> so when people are watching on Twitch... Yes. Are, are, is our voice out of sync with the stream, or is your voice out of sync? Are you ahead on the stream, or are we late when we talk? So I see what's happening in the game a little bit ahead of you. But our okay. voices, like, our conversations are not out of sync that's or good. anything like that. Oh, I just no, that's hit good. by a random thing. That's magic. I don't know how that yeah, works. Yeah. It's, not, it's not like I talk, and then there's a five-second delay, and then... Tim. It's not like I'm like, hi, Tim, and you're like, ah, ha, ha, hello. Because um, yeah. that'd be weird. Uh, as long as you just sound like a little smarter because you're predicting everything that happens, that's better than us sounding like we're making jokes about stuff that happened five seconds ago. Uh, you Here know, you go. I, I do my best not to make it so that you're all stuck guessing what's going on. Uh, hats. Hats they the sensors. Oh, they are adorable. That's a good idea, Tim. Yeah, have it on every level. Hats. We are a company that does like hats. It's true. Wait, you're supposed to do something in there, aren't you? Was it? Or is it or over was here? It, or was it the other one? 
That's what I was wondering the about. There's the other one. Oh, there's right, so if you can see a way up, I think there's like a fire. There's like a, um, yeah, drown that snail. Yeah. There's a, um. I'm using all the Tim Schafer tips. See, snail, that's a that's a French stereotype. You gotta snail? Uh huh. Escargot and such, yes. Okay. Well, I can I've light never them. Had an presumably, presumably can light these on fire. Oh, I, see, well, you I, didn't, I don't know. You didn't get all those figments, also. I don't know how you're living with yourself with all those figments. Oh uh, yeah, I guess this isn't the one. There's, oh, and that's, is that a is that a cantilever? There? Can you swim on thing? It must be something um, you can do in here. Yeah, go up that pole to that and the horizontal pole or H pole as some people call them. Other side. Oh yeah, right behind you. Five seconds ago. Ah, right in front of you. Huh. That guy. Oh. Get on, get on that. No, 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 the, the horizontal one. Yes. We called them cantilevers in the first game, and I'm now we call them H poles. Yes, yes, yes. It it's it's fatter. It's fatter than the others. It's it got, is a little thicker than. It's the... got a little bit of heft to it. Okay, yeah, that's the visual language bug. If Jeff it was on the call, we could tell him to fix that. What? I think you have to switch around. This is one of those weird. I think this is a killed Peterson oh, it is. action yeah. path. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Now press Y. Yeah. Yeah, see? I got it. That's a weird. I think that's considered a design crime to make someone do an about face without any sort of warning. What are some other right design now. crimes? Oh, uh, do we have any designers on here? No, they, um... Oh, I just fell because I'm a dummy. Have... <laughs> but what is a designer? You haven't had any designers on the thing, right? Because Eric's not... Has Eric... He's in the chat. I think Eric... He might be in the chat. I mean, he could tell us a design crime. Like, uh, there are certain design rules. Like, uh, like having a having a dead end that doesn't have a collectible at the end of it is kind of a design crime, right? Do we have... Oh, well, we're going to have to... It's illegal to do that. We're going to have to go Isn't through there a waterfall every... one? Every yeah, what, of, if a waterfall yeah. that doesn't have a goodie behind it, you know, yeah. a waterfall that doesn't have a little secret behind it is a crime. That's more of an aesthetic, I feel like. Um, yes. Yeah, you can't. Okay, there's a tricky jump. Oh, you did it. A misdemeanor. I need the purse tag here. <laughs> take that. Take your aggression element. Oh, I thought I could jump on the. Hey, is there a force shimmy there? Is, uh, there? is there another area up there? Maybe. I thought I could jump on the chandeliers. So we'll hop on up. And I, I can't guarantee it. I'm gonna go through every single spot of P2 and Mark where um, there may or may not be. Uh, yeah, see, any, there's any, something in there. Any dead ends with uh, without cool collectibles? Yeah, feel free to bug them. Yeah, because it's like I want to get. So yeah, so she grabbed that ledge and shimmy. Uh, oh, to over your left. there. Five seconds to go to your left. Yes. Like, jump to the person, miss it, and hang on the ledge. You can also press B when you're near the ledge, I think. I think. That's what I'm trying to do. Yep. <laughs> I'm super Slowly. scared. I'm super scared of falling. Yeah, look at that. I don't think that. you can do that much in the second I can't... game. Like, force chimneys. And I can't I, even yeah. think of many times that this has really been a thing in this game even this is it's not like that's well the slowly only slowly joey but, that's yeah. why people in the chat keep talking about slowly joey because that's the one time you had to do it in the first game for earlier levels but now you're on the tightrope oh good camera oh they're not just calling oh. their cameras calling me slowly yes joey. camera's hard camera's hard everybody it's really 3d games always make first person shooters so you don't have to worry about the camera yeah make them hardcore yeah. but with a z at the end that's how you know hardcore hardcores that's how you know they're very hardcore. Did I really just... I cannot believe what just happened. Did you just fall off the... <laughs> Tim. Oh, you no. Have to, you have to say things like... You have to say, I can't believe what's about to happen. For, to or, oh, from now on... <laughs> I can't believe what's about to happen. From now on, I'll go, I cannot oh believe God. what's about to happen. I... My heart is breaking, because I know we can get through... Like, the board game, we've gone through a fair portion of it and now it's just getting these last few pieces um so which is to say that like we're almost there um but my, well, my you, got, no, you got a whole bunch of snails to catch ah, you know but in my heart of hearts i was like oh my gosh i cannot believe it we're so close we're so close to getting close to eating this cargo delicious if i when i visit california if i met up with you and i was like tim I want escargot. Would you eat escargot, or would you? Would you I would you don't ever would want to eat out? escargot. Why do I don't you... see an ups. I don't see an upside to eating escargot, except for going around saying I ate escargot. I mean, yeah, you, that's fine, right? That's a thing that you might want to. Except for then, it's gross. Can you imagine the feeling of snails in your mouth? How are you not picking up that figment? Oh my god! Please. 
It's cool. You it's are, cool at this point. You it's are so, the uh, funniest. Thank you. <sighs> we there. put them in there for you to pick up, not ignore. Not walk by. They're not called ignorables. Oh, no. You got to grab that thing. No. What do you... No, I don't. Oh. No, I don't I need to don't. grab that thing. I'm fine. Well, it's really more of a suggestion than a rule, I guess. We're going to get to that point where I'm just going to... It's like, I totally got it. I got it. Don't worry. Because then we got to go in here, use the use the cobweb duster, and it's all good. Mostly. Oh, you got that super truck tag. Sweet. Burn that. Yes. Burn it to hit. How would you know to burn that? Just because it glows? Yeah, it has, it has, it has I mean, the glow. It's natural to burn hay. How can you not burn hay? Yeah, because it has Except the Except for the whole building bits. would come down. But you can't do it to the to the smaller yeah, ones. Like... What? Oh. Key, could you... It's just the effect. That should have had a UI come up. Oh, no, a thing did happen, but yeah, no, I'm not seeing any of, like, the little There you go. You can do the little ones. Oh, Key, I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no, friend. He works so hard, though. But we can get rid of... Darn it. Most it's of like them a double stack. Ooh. Hey, look, oh, the musket bounce. is always very good. <laughs> Riding... Look, a half pipe. Oh, yeah. Did you see that little half pipe? This I always is, wanted uh, more half pipes in the game. Tony Hawk must have been a thing by then. We were trying to make. I mean, we always thought the uh, ball was like a little skateboard. Oh, yeah, of course. Nothing yeah, better. No. What if you jump nice. at the tops? I'm going to grab that for sure. I forget. I'm going to get big so I can figure out where the other peasant is. Oh, look at that over now, there. The night. No, they, and now you need the night, don't you? Look at the one floating over there, just in the in the ether. Who? Oh, no. The cork. Uh, key, can you... Um... Sorry. LA. Where can you see that? It goes on the list. It goes on the list. I've never seen, I've never seen, I've never seen that before. Things animating, freezing out of uh, the sim bubble or whatever. Yeah, it's a little random. Um, Here's a musket. A thing that you just give to folks. Always very good. Oh, clipping. <laughs> These are definitely where I feel that adventure game DNA the most, right? In terms of not quite lock and key, but in that ballpark. Just a little. Yeah, Eric put a lot of those things back in. I think it got more platformy. Like, Mia's level is 100% platformy. Oh, yeah, for sure. Puzzles in there. And then... Um, we go back and forth and be like, no, nah, we're kind of missing some of those puzzle things. So, I mean, Eric went off and designed, he took the basic concepts of some levels and rebooted them. And he put all these, uh, he put like the um, the costumes the, the in, the, in the Milkman Conspiracy, all the disguises, the quote unquote disguises you use, which are very much lock and key adventure game style, like get this object to go here type puzzles. And all these in here. Too. He was mad that we had to cut some steps here. There were more steps. There was a couple. I feel like there was a, a, a lovers, a couple you had to reunite or something. You got that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Cool musket, huh? Oh, wait, I have to reload. Oh, die. Ah, I will kill you. Retreat. I Ow. Retreat. Everyone into the stronghold. Immediately. Oh, you're right. We do need to end up collecting the S cargo. You're right. We're gonna have to go to the S cargo farm. Yep. I'm gonna have to sign off because we got a meeting about second two bugs. That's fine. We're about to close up most of this level, anyways. Always good having you on. It's a <laughs> it's a hectic week. It's been an exciting week. Um, always good to have. Oh, I think it's always good to have neon. <laughs> neon. No, it's good. I, I mean the guests that we've had on this, right? Like in my brain, it was. It was always, hey, we're just gonna, we're just gonna stream the game, and then so many people have shown up, um, yourself included. But you know, we have Key and and David right now, and like Richard showing up last week and all that. Like, it's been more than I could have imagined, and it's, I don't know, I find that really, really nice, very, very cool. Fun. Fun we're, little reunion. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. It's got the got the vibes. Couple behind those bouncers. You guys, oh, look how cute these snails are. They look like little curly babies. They move like they're little uh, pieces. Do you punch them or wipe from them? I mean, I you, think you can just, just uh, collect them, yeah. Yeah, you can just ride right over them. 
Now, I don't remember, like, these little punching things in between the trees. I mean, trees, the question is if I things. could, like, levitate them, right? Like, I could just easily do that, too, right? I could grab, oh my them, God. grab them like that. But it's fun to chase them around, too. It's kind of bouncy and entertaining. That's right. Are these little things in between the trees that you punch to make the apples fall, are they based on uh, actual New England or orchard supplies? Are you, are, <laughs> are you asking that because I, I live in the middle of nowhere? Well, yeah, that, that was a question for the tape of the panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're totally based on a real thing. They're called... I thought they were uh, a little contrived. I thought they might be a little contrived. They're, they're called apple, apple babbits. And, uh, Maybe it was... An, yeah. I probably... Oh, look at that. Like, but like, um... They are really a real thing. No, I, I, I have no clue. This is this is my turn to BS a little. Did I you punch him? Have you already? Oh, look at these snails. This is true. The time we're ready, more than we are ready. We can no longer pull our heads into our shells and hide. We are, after all, the armored warriors. And this is our land too. We may not be fast, but we will always march upon the glittering path of righteousness. We have. We create ourselves. We created ourselves from our hearts. Talking about slime trails. <laughs> Lead on onward and let us eat the holes in the leaves of Napoleon's garden. They're I the only like, ones that are into the battle. I feel like we have a lot of slugs and snails and other things in our games, and that's that's kind of cute. <laughs> I don't know, because we just... Punch did... that thing. Did you, did you already punch the apples? Sorry. Oh, no, I hopped okay. out because I was going to move Yeah. these buds over here. Uh, slugs and, if you think slugs and snails are cute, I think they're gross. That's why we always kill them in the game. I think they're nice, right? They're kind of they're kind of <laughs> cool. Nice. Yeah. I'm from um, you see Santa Cruz. I went to Santa Cruz, so of course I'm pro slug. That that can't be a mascot, can it? Yeah, don't you know the banana slugs is the mascot of that, UC Santa Cruz? I feel like you're lying. That's really well, what, what's, I, that's you're welcome for the Google research you can do later afterwards. Yeah, and you know, I didn't want to just straight up call you a liar, but that's a banana slug. I think that would be they... not the first time in the stream that you've called me a Are they large? Are they, fairy. are they very big? Like, what they're is their like deal? They're like the size yeah. of bananas. Just the size of bananas. And they're all through the, if you go on a hike in Muir Woods, when you come out here or in the uh, Santa Cruz Hills, you'll find a lot of banana slugs out on the trail. And for a while, among ecologists like my brother, it was a, a rite of passage to to lick a banana slug, like to, to show what an ecologist you are. Like I am such an environmentalist, I'm gonna lick this banana slug. And then they found out there are these all these nasty diseases you can get from licking a banana slug. Special kinds of fungus you can only get from licking a banana slug. So, so you won't them. eat a slug, but your brother will. Nope. We used to lick, lick them. Lick a slug mm -hmm. to prove yep. how hardcore he is. But he wouldn't. He wouldn't eat one because he's a vegetarian. Too. Well, that's fair. I understand. But they're disgusting. They're disgusting. Terrible. Okay. I'm going to sign off. Thank you. It was yes. great watching your battle. Very inspiring. Good job, Heather. Nice <laughs> Thank to see you. everybody. Take it easy. Bye, Dave. And now we're here. You're still there, right? Yeah. Dave, yeah. I'm, I'm here. Today. He's still there? I got to go to, to that meeting. Yeah, yeah I, that same meeting. I, actually, I feel like yeah, a lot yeah. of people need to go bugs. And I got dogs. bugs to fix. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right. Bye. Bye, Bye yes. everybody. Nice to see this level again. Bye, everyone. Yes. This so. is the phase of the stream where I stall as I try to remember how to turn off the oh, yeah, how Discord. You, you can just leave right. the uh, the chat that we're in, and then, and then I'll finish up uh, Waterloo. Oh, but you can yeah, just... Yeah, I mean... Boop, boop. Makes a little noise. <laughs> Watch, we'll do it on... If you... I think I'll just stay. I'll just stay. If you go down to the bottom left side, you're going to see a thing that tells you to hang up the call. <laughs> I, I promise it's there. Uh, I, I don't want to leave. I'm staying. You, we, we very much have established right. that uh, uh, that there's bugs game. to fix because we got to get and psychonauts I too. Think I think oh, I forgot. I need to fix the bridge first. I think I just live here now. I mean, that's fine. It's just, I mean, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. You know, so just gotta roll with it. You'll figure it out. Or you can just, you could just close the Discord process. For all I know, he's gone. He's gone. There, he, he managed it. He did it. Friends, he did it. This is, I mean, I'm not, is this how I fix the? Good work on that. Yeah. I forgot how to fix this thing. Carpenter joke. It's, um, some of my job every now and then genuinely is to 
tell folks how to like it sounds it sounds not glamorous because it's not entirely glamorous is, is to explain to people this is how discord works um is it platforming time we got to lower the bridge I'm doing God's work. I don't know. These streams make me... I have str I have spoken in front of people at conferences, friends. I have done all sorts of things. These streams uh, make me a nervous little Nelly because there's so many things happening at once, right? Um, which is both cool, but also, like, so much stuff. Uh, I'm just trying to skip all these, uh, these sensors. Let's see we do that. Uh, Richard and Nikki showing up last week was like a surprise, for instance. Um, I, I, I have no clue when Tim's going to show up, which is always entertaining. Uh, it's always a surprise in the best possible way. And I hope that it's been good for folks, too. Um, I feel... We just gotta lower this this drawbridge. We're almost there, friends. I messed that up entirely. Is next week gonna be the last stream? Um, actually, no. Or maybe, no, no. Um, <laughs> as a matter of fact, we're keeping it nice and loose here. Um, we're celebrating a holiday, which messes. Well, it doesn't mess things up. It's important to celebrate and recognize um, holidays. I think it's I think it's Juneteenth around that time frame, um, and we we, are, we try as a studio to make sure that um, we acknowledge holidays and we allow people time to recover um, from work and and all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna get hit there. Um, I'm just gonna let them kill me. I'm trying to answer this question, um, and then what's going to happen is I, because I'm flying out to San Francisco that gives me a little bit of time to like rest or to fly back so there's some stuff that's happening where I get back off a plane and then I start streaming very soon I forget um, but I don't believe it's next week I believe there's a, a small um, a small little delay um and, and it will end up being Black Velvetopia, um, Meat Circus, and the end of the game is how that will go. Um, which is, it's amazing to think that we've gotten that far already. I forget. Well, we've thought about... Uh, true story. We have thought about how to get Rhombus off the ground. And that's trickier because it has to be in VR. And we would love to do it, but I don't have VR where I'm at. And unfortunately, I do live remote from the office right now. I can't really get access to it. Um, so, the, so the alternative might be... Um, uh something like getting Tim to play but that seems <laughs> that seems tricky uh um and it also means that someone needs to go to the office with Tim and make sure that we have uh head headphones and and I stuff that's working for him um, and everything uh, which is tricky 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 um, is this it is this we're, we're basically where we ought to be don't shoot me ow okay so that's where I need to go um, so we want to do it 
because in the lead up to Psychonauts 2, um, we think it'd be really great to have people refreshed on um, not just the story of this game, but on the story of Rhombus. Look at all these folks down here, like, we heard you talking shit. <laughs> um, we want to refresh people on the story of Rhombus too, because Psychonauts 2 picks up right from... Oh, I messed that up. Right from the end of Rhombus of Ruin, right? Um, and not everybody, you know, unfortunately, right? Even though I think Rhombus is pretty cool. I love any fun VR type experiences. Um, even though I don't have VR, I always think they're really cool when I see them. Um, <laughs> I, it's just, we want to, we want to have people familiar with the story so that, um, you know, even if folks haven't played uh, Psychonauts and the Rhombus of Ruin, that they'll be able to head into Psychonauts 2 with a lot of confidence. Um, because it is, a, it is, you know, I, I, I love Psychonauts, and I'm not just saying that because I'm playing it and I work at Double Fine. Um, I, I think it's a genuinely good game, but I think for a lot of people it will be quite a long time since they've played the original, and expecting them to remember you know, who is Dr. Lobato? And, you know, also there was a thing, he, there's a mysterious person who's hiring him to do XYZ thing and all these other parts where it's like, I want people to <laughs> have a good time playing, but I also know there's a degree to which some people will be like, I don't remember any of this, Behold right? Um, just because it is a story that's been going on so long. Um, so, you know, that's how it is. And we got to the end of Waterloo, which was the point. Um, this is like a low energy stream a little bit. I feel like everybody was uh, vibing more than anything. Well, I mean, anything was low energy compared to, to Richard and Nikki. Um, right, which which was uh, chaos, but chaos I also say with uh, love in my heart. Um, you know, it was busy. It's been a busy week. We're getting through, um, you know, you hear them running off and saying, hey, we actually have to go to a meeting where we're finally making sure we know what bugs are in the game, right? Because there's things that you fix and then there's also like one time this person's hat was weird and you go well that's lower on the priority list right um and and we also had day of the devs yesterday and we've been trying to organize that so there's been a lot of things happening um you know because we are really really the thing that i stress to people we are releasing the game this year um it's it is coming right um, and that means now we're getting to the point of having conversations of bug triage and, you know, how many, you know, can we go over, do we have time to maybe relight and fix a cutscene a little bit more? Um, you know, just those, those little tweaks and polish touches that end up taking a game from being technically complete to something you really want to give to people um which will be very very fun and yes i have the straight jacket and yes this does mean friends that the stream is basically over and i'm here by myself chattering away um this is good i any any time i get to talk to my coworkers is very happy this this sounds depressing and i don't mean it to be but i haven't met them and I'm only going to meet some of them when I fly out uh, to San Francisco soon. And I, I probably, you know, who knows when I can move out there. So I haven't seen some of these people. So getting to play this game with them, especially folks who have really cool stories, it's neat. It's neat. And having you all in chat is very, very nice, too. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Friday. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday, Sunday, maybe even a Monday, too, when we get there. Um, which would be very, very nice. Um, I don't know why I mentioned Monday. 
But, you know, Mondays, people are usually like, Mondays are bad. But I hope you have a good Monday, too. Um, but here we are, end of Waterloo. Next time, the date, I'm not entirely sure because I think we're pushing it back a little. But it will be Black Velvetopia. It will be um, Meat Circus. And it will be the end of the game. And we should have some, some pretty cool guests for that one. Some some fresh faces, uh, new faces that you haven't heard on the streams so far. So for now, the screen is going to freeze for a minute, like it always does when I go to turn everything off. And then I'm going to head over here. You can hear me clicking. And goodbye, everybody. <laughs> I will see you around. Have a wonderful weekend. We, we love you. We, we love all of you. Bye.